different forums on different topics, the issue of Ugandan men has come up and it has hurt some. Maybe it's time to try to readdress this issue. Is there a way that we can talk about this in a manner that probably you know, allows people to have an opportunity to dismiss some of the claims that are being made? Or maybe they are right and it's time for Ugandan men to change. It was such a time, long time ago, when many people would die to have a Ugandan man. It actually mattered that they had a Ugandan man because he cared, he provided, he was there. What's happened? When it comes to Europe now, it even gets worse. We have been receiving lots of complaints about African women, Ugandan women, telling their children not to marry Ugandan men because of a, B, C, D, probably it's what we'll be listening to tonight. But where did it all go wrong? Have men either been misunderstood or is it probably what the women are doing? Could it be that the women used to do certain things that made the Ugandan men do certain things that those things have disappeared? Could it be a change of the of environment that has led to this particular one? This global community conversation is about issues that affect you back home. And therefore, we are trying to say, what is it that we can do? Where did it all go wrong? Is it something that can be remedied and changed for the Ugandan man to still have his particular position as he did before? Or is it too late? But with being too late, it would mean we shouldn't have a solution. And yet with every situation, there should be a solution. You, the Ugandan men out there, are you ready just to take this line down? I'm sure you are up for a fight. It's not a fight, it is a conversation, a discussion. Probably time to listen and hear what have we done so wrong to get ourselves this particular accreditation that we go with. A Ugandan man, Tom Bulida. Or is it probably the women? Is it your opportunity now as a man to tell them where they have changed, what they can't do anymore, that is also taking away your ability to do stuff. The conversation is big on Facebook Live, on Zoom Live, and on YouTube Live via Uma Connected and live here on 75W Radio. Remember, you can actually you know, send us a message, text us, and we shall have the conversation. And while we were at it, because I flagged this slightly earlier, a lot of information came through. A lot of comments have been coming in, you know, left, right, and center with people actually, you know, some very bitter, but surprisingly, and surprise, surprise, it's been mainly the women who are relating or talking about their particular situation. It will be very important for you, the men, to come out and stand for yourself. Maybe explain, maybe it might be something that the women have not understood about us. Since it's about building communities and not breaking communities, it's an opportunity then to have this conversation. And I'll tell you some of the messages I received earlier that will, might help to inform our conversation. I can see on Zoom already the numbers are beginning to bust. On Facebook, I can confirm to you that we actually have so many people, especially even in Uganda, who have decided to stay up and just follow this conversation because it matters to them. Uh, and uh, some of the uh, points that have been raised here, I received one from Aisha Nachiemba via Facebook who says, I have a few negatives to say about men, African or Ugandan men for that matter, like dishonesty, disloyalty, lack of commitment, unkind and not generous, but I still love them. They are our men. What a way to conclude on that. And Fauzia Nawakura via Corporate Muslims on Facebook, on their Facebook page, uh, she says, I'd say some men, uh, some men and communicating their feelings are not friends, once you get them to communicate, then you hit the road running. What works is basing one's marriage on religious values. Trust, infidelity, friends, and family are all the problems with marriage. I'll take the last one, which is longish, but it is a very powerful one. I'd like you to listen to it. It may help to inform your own decision in this particular conversation. This one says, I'll leave anonymous, and she says, Sheikh, my two cents. Our Sajja Wadugav are socialized with inflated sense of self. Mm -hmm. She starts. Our cultures and religions put them on a mantelpiece. They are not taught that with great power comes great responsibility. They don't realize that they have the power to make or break relationships. Now, this is evidenced in the vastly different ways both genders are raised in our society 
back home, which is different from many other cultures. I'm not sure about Asians, but a few I have interacted with, it's the disparity isn't as skewed as a wafe. She goes on to say that your inflated sense of self masks a lot of insecurities and low self-esteem. In most cases, challenge or attack on their manhood. So I think I feel that to so yeah. Secondly, she continues, make up your own mind and probably you can respond to these particular points at the appropriate time. I have noticed most of our African, not Ugandans, but African brothers, sorry in their vocabulary. That is one of the reasons I tuned out his doors. options to look elsewhere, so very few attach value to their partners. These are really very pertinent, well thought out issues that this lady anonymous uh, raises, and I'd like maybe we shall be able to decipher through these particular points as a race. And so when I reflect on the many issues in my now defunct marriage, all it would have taken for me, Okukakana, is I'm sorry, my actions or words had unintended consequences. Thirdly, and because she raises almost four points and I don't want to you know, take it all away from you because I'm sure you are burning. I can already see the points, you know, getting up on in the chat room on Zoom where you can actually chat, but also on Facebook where we are streaming live as well. Uh, says lack of empathy, that is number three. Very few men have learned this. Nzei, I had all three of my sons by C-section. Naye and Allah, until not once did this boy's father help out at home. Ask any woman who's had a section how tough it is to even support your body weight. Looking after other kids, fresh from hospital. But somehow God gives you the strength to push through. And that told me all I needed to know. Now, these are deep. As a man and listening to this, looking at me and hearing this, I am certain without any shade of doubt. I'll actually repeat these points later on because I can see many people joining on Zoom uh, and therefore might have missed up a few of these very important points that are being raised here. They might actually form the basis of our conversation tonight. But remember, this is your conversation. It's about you. It's about us as a community. This is a global community conversation. Nobody stopped from having a say. However, it, because it's an open discussion, it just means you allow yourself and respectfully allow others also to share their views. Finally, Anonymous here says, African society has taught men descent that it can be used to plug any X, any character flaws. I think African cultures have inculcated in us as female. Never mind your emotional and mental health. In my lay understanding, that explains what our Zungu likely do what makes them happy, although na chochirina drawbacks zacho. I have plenty more, na hey, I'm tired of typing. Now, this is really a very serious, it's, it's, it's someone speaking from the heart, and I would like to hear uh, from the chat room at least, getting people hearing your particular views as we embark on this particular journey. Because what it does say to us is a lot, it just gives you an idea, an atom into what exactly, you know, is going on in people's minds. I can see many people are already, you know, logged in and coming in uh, left, right and center. I would like to hear your particular experiences you've just had from these particular people. Let me just check on Facebook a little bit, just to remind you this is come. Let's talk with Mekasin Kaira live on 75W Radio, as well as streaming live on Zoom and YouTube via Uma Connected. Yes, I can see on Facebook uh, comments already actually loading up. I'll just minimize that. Uh, here says, one second, allow me. Uh, yes, this is someone here who says, you know, uh, one second, apologies. 
Yes, I have a few negatives, and that was from Aisha Nachi and who I've already mentioned. A few negatives to say about them, like dishonesty, disloyalty, lack of commitment, unkind and not generous, but I still love them. They are our men. <laughs> Quite interesting. Ah, but this one says, actually, I can talk everything positive all day about a Ugandan man. A Ugandan man is incomparable. And this is Bushra Namirimo. A newlywed, probably that might explain the kind of love feelings where she is at this time. Uh, Shamim Jingo says, I don't have to miss, inshallah, they want to be there. Yes, we are already here and you can just tune in and have uh, this particular conversation. Let's get listening and hearing from you. The chat room is already getting busy. Abu Fahim, I think, has responded on behalf of all the men, he says, but the whites divorce more than African race. Don't you think that marriage difference or misunderstandings are best handled by African men. Now to help us navigate, I think we need to start from, because I said there was a golden age when a Ugandan man, a Ugandan man, what really changed? What was it like that would allow people? What, what was it that, you know, African men, Ugandan men actually, not necessarily African men, although we can widen the conversation maybe to African men, but for now, what was it that Ugandan men used to do so well that made them very lovable. And I think the only way to find out is for us to go down the route of the people who have lived through these times. I just find that unlocking a place. We just want to hear from a woman who lived in her time when men, Ugandan men, were still men. I just find that you are live on 75W Radio and on Oma Connect. Welcome. It's Fatima Bukenya. Yes, please unmute yourself, Hajit. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hajat video, why did you go here? Now, okay. Uh, well, it's the way to go and to my city now, we're Ugandan men, Ugandan men. It's been the talk all over. Our side, yeah, I think it's enough for it to talk about Rabo. That way, what is it that we are doing so wrong? Maybe to the point where we're not saying 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 we're Mbaza mwa maanyi bagale nyo awasajja wa na Uganda. Singaba na haba. Baze yoku nkoli ya feyeda ni mamanya. Mamama ni batata chichecha haba tuizanga mbufumbo ni babela ni ba Uganda ni meni katile babuma. Ate ni babela ya galidamu. Ya haba fe. Nsonga che sinzo kuleto uzibu. Haba wala o baba chala. Habi nsangi zino. Okubera anga dala tebacha respecting ako kubufumbo wawe no buwa gala. Mm. Ichi soka. Beskale kambe singire kubusiramu. Soke tudeye kubusiramu. Kubusiramu kutu gamba ati echiti wacho na obukuru wona obama kage tulimu. Mani the first. The leader of the family. The man. Kati omusajja jeululi fane jeululi da. Abachia ala chizua tutamanya, titugenda kumusinga. Kati njogera kuchedda, ede chawe zawe mbera webade mu Uganda, na chivu chatu use, okube ranga chiri wechiti, mm. icho chavawo, tusokerao. Oh, chavawo. Chavawo. Abachia ala balo uzabia nkana nkana nava saji. Respect ye webu haba ami, obaje tuwa wanga, ya gwa wa bachala bongera bongezi kujiyi wa munyu kusetwe kumemento kwa kusebengerera kitukene kubana bibazadde nga nene webwa nage na mufumbo tagenda ku respecting abawe njagala so, first first point is respect respect has disappeared respect on the part of, of the wives respecting their husbands that is point number 1 yes point number 2 trust in their Parents. Trust in Bazar Deba, we know you are wow. Abachala, we baba and gaba, me bano, Yabachala, and Abachala, bano, Yabababazi. Trust ya singer and Gakube, Amubazad de Oxinga Mababidi. Katiunayo, Avana Vajitwala, 
omwana jano omusajja bino bye nyinyi bye bali konti abana Uganda batu tamu na gama nze njagala kugenda na mukongo e no mugamba mwana wake eyo batu gamba nti mune bali embwa nti mami nze gwinjagala kati olo kubanga aba kiliche gambe chagwawo obuyinza abana babu tujjako ze do what they want why ekisoka abana basomye ne bafuna sente ne balabirira abazadde omuzadde wa mugandi tagende na mukongo kati anyana amugulira amanda hala msasuri ya masanyalazi nga kakana na ya abami ruli bebayi na responsibility ya makaga abwe mwana natu ko kuwasa natu ko kufumirwa ange wakata ata ya labirira ko lisonga ngati bayira na stand nene oloku babuli shimu bebache ka musete oma ne bobera nga gwo mvuko tusofunda tatyo tasobala kwegu yako no naku no lumu dipanga amaze makerere ogenda kufuna omulimo kya bendinge ebyo nabya gwawo kati abazadde ne babanga twadira twakola vice versa ichi chitu koze bubinyo abana abantu bale kane ne besaira we bate ko kola atenga fetu ani bade tu standing ku kuguru kumu nti walo ne families libaga mangana kanti aleta wano musajja atali musiramu tutawana kati ngeche rede erori anamu vera na ye ama nyajamu agali na jaya gana na ye wakata kena mune tawanti bagenda kola miku kati ye nsonga na yo trust mbazade abana baji bajamu mwana aleta musajja kwa ya gala ni ye sali yao ni bako la viva gala and he is ok abana abawala bafunye nyo senti kumulundi guno namba satu okusinga abasajja Mokuzifuna, okwegu ya tewali, obo ya gala njagala, obo ya njagala, emotu kwa njia soro jigula, nyumba na jizi mbada, omulimu mfuna sente. Sina kindi nabana njia kusoro bala vila, kwenye nabanga ondeseo, obutegu ya, mm. na chocha ale sobu zivu. Ngate cho, chifu, ch, chichisingo kubela mu ne value e, e kuba value mu bufumbo nti omukazi we no ye no kwegu omusajja jibulifana jibuli so I, I just, because we have some non luganda speakers allow me just to summarize very quickly as you continue summarize. yeah the first point i think summarize. was the issue of respect respect that has disappeared respect on the part of wives who no longer attach that value to the man uh, therefore taking away their manhood i think that, that that's really putting them putting it into particular question the second thing was the issue of parental responsibility, the parents losing the kind of uh, clout that they had in, 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 in sort of determining who their daughters marry, uh, who, who their sons even marry, because even uh, fathers used to be responsible for, you know, how their sons get married, what family, the research would be done, sort of investigations would be carried out to find out about the family that uh, the man was going to marry from. And then the third thing is the issue of women now becoming, you know, being richer, uh, getting access to money with the means, with the new economic means, with the new eco economic empowerment, it has actually pushed almost to support the two other elements because where a parent would have come in, if it is the daughter looking after the family, if, for example, she's not allowed to sort of have a say in who she wants to marry, regardless of you know, particular problems that the parents would have seen, it means they just go ahead and the parents want to be able to access the, the, the funds. And as a result, they cannot miss out on, 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 you know, on, on the money and therefore they just go quiet, allowing their daughters to marry people who might not necessarily be good for them. So that really has had an impact. Uh, and, and the third thing, of course, with the money now in their hands, they don't care. They, 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 the I don't care attitude has come into play, uh, pushing them to sort of imagine that even if the man walked out, one, they would be financially stable to be able to hold the home together, and then they would worry about looking for the next man. Uh, whenever they can. I just find again a must. I just wanted to summarize for those who are not Uganda speakers and might have missed these very important points. And the reason Hajat Freida is speaking here is because, well, she is from that generation, but living within this generation. And therefore, she has seen the, you know, the best and the worst of the two worlds. And therefore, she's speaking from experience. And we'll hear from men as well on their side of the conversation. Hajat Freida, do get a must. Zensonge satuzo na zilifu embele ya radio. Buenko na kosa idieno, e yaba ami. As I said, edda, batata, bebala vidida angabana, ogule chitabo, okusoma, ogule mbawaka, bamama nebaba angabala vidida chibana, kubakuza. 
echo bwe kyachuse ate kyachuse bubi nyo batata ne babanga echo okulabirira tebachayagala kumanya awo wasingide dalo okuba kaluma nyo era gwe tulimu bana Uganda abasajja banta ma awo and that's why that is raising a very important point because the first three points were about the women, but now she turns to the men's side, the African men, the Ugandan men, not the African men, the Ugandan men uh, syndrome, which is men throwing away their responsibilities, that husbands used to be the people who buy the exercise books, who pay the school fees, who look after the home, and therefore the woman now had the passion, the response, felt the responsibility to sort of look after the home because the man was really availing. Now, men have run away from their responsibility. That has pushed now women to sort of find themselves having to do everything. I think a, 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 a conversation that is seriously going on in the chat room with people uh, sort of confirming this. Uh, uh, Naima Kaira here saying research shows that mid, middle-aged women don't want to get remarried because they do everything. Uh, Aisha Z was saying, I hear you had that some Muslim men use religion as a way out for having multiple partners. But religion allows them more than one wife. I've witnessed a man marrying every six months. To some, it's like collecting trophies. No parent would want to expose their daughters to such. Uh, Ummu Suleiman says, how that women work because men cannot fulfill their responsibilities? And I can see Joy with her hand already up. Once Hajat finishes, I'll come to you and then we'll get a man to sort of interject in the conversation. Hajat, you get a muscle, maybe another point, because we'll have you throughout the conversation. Maybe you'll keep chipping in uh, to the conversation to Sula to the NNT says our problem. Hajat Faida, maybe a last point out then. The name of Sina, I want to talk about Kuz. Yes. Enkuze edi jeva tu kuzamu feti tuju kuzizaba na vana tu kuzamu bati tiba respecte yewe kene de chine cha sente we chizze na ba wala ne ba banga we kolelela kubanga duri omuchara ne ba waba angoli na sente umwa minga tarina respecte edi yalinga kuru nyoko kugumia ukubwe ranga dalo umwa mi asiga la mposition edi yomaka ukubwe ranga yimwa mi ngani weva sente zata busemo we no gamanti. Haji, omana sente is the school fees. Ungero inazi wa haji, azi tuwale yeri kusomero, asigalenga eri gundi yewe eri. Echitiba chechidi, igo yenti tata ya sasura school fees, mama tabi yingi labu. Neekati, esa wazino, abachala, tu, no kubio gira kutubira, nabana nebabira au. Wanabana tuwala bidira, katina school fees za kule moku sasura. E nyumba kutu sasura. E vyo, tulino kuda yo. Respect no. Let me pull my socks up. Bago on the other So Thank you very, very much. I, just, I think you wrap it out uh, very well. Of course, I think there will be people who will agree and disagree. Uh, Abu, Abu Fahim, I think, was saying, I think that is too much. It is Abu Fahima says, not all fathers. Hajati, don't generalize. That would almost amount to a stereotyping. Sharifa Asige says, Ugandan men bagara nyo poligami atenga tebali na busobozi. That's why women are fed up. They all joined Stingy Association, Laira Kadu says. <laughs> Very soon, I'm sure she will just be mentioning Banabudu. Newa Nabudu, alhamdulillah. Allah uh, ya Safe love, or oh, self-love says, I don't believe that they have lost parenthood, respect, or trust, but because children, now married adults, witnessed unhappy parents or mothers, uh, so they wouldn't want to stay in the marriage like their parents. Laila Kadu comes back to say, Nze se wia umsajja ume wira akumanyida. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hand, there's a hand up. And, oh, let's be, let me take Hakim first. As the, the Ugandan men have fallen out of favor for various reasons. Coming from a man, I think this is critical. Compared to the true men of the world, we come up short in various categories. We don't have a reputation for having any positive masculine traits. Maybe some people might disagree. We are not known for our intelligence or our wealth or our strength or even our courage. What exactly makes us stick? 
in all honesty. This is a man who has already given up on the battle. Joy Chapita, your hand was up and I can see Sharifa M's hand up. Let's open the conversation. Remember, this is your global community conversation. Come, let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira, live on 75W Radio and then live on Uber Connected via Zoom and YouTube. Joy, welcome to the program. Hello, good evening, Kasim. Good, good evening, evening. Hajat Farid. <laughs> <laughs> what I, is burning I, I, in your heart? <laughs> I agree with the hajat, you know, to some extent, but not everywhere. Mm -hmm. And um, I, would, I, I would like to say that Ugandan men are actually the best because I'm married to a Ugandan uh -huh. and, um, and I wouldn't swap. <laughs> I wouldn't swap. Yes. But then also, it's important for our Ugandan men to understand that marriage is now a partnership. We it's, all it's get into been, this marriage. Probably the circumstances are different now. Yes, go on. No, we, we get in this marriage on an equal footing. Like uh, we are all leveled. Yes. It's not like you are below me. And from what Hajat is saying, it's like, oh, we give you the money to go and the person, you retain that position. Which position? You know, because if we are all in it together, 50-50, you understand. And if we start looking at what, what one another like that, I think we go, we, go, we go an extra mile. And then the other thing is that uh, Joy, hold on. Joy, hold on there. Hold on there. Hold that thought. I don't want you to lose it. When you mm. say we go into it 50-50 and, and, you know, as equal partners, it would yes. be equal partners as a husband and a wife. But what would make a husband a husband then when he cannot deliver? Because Ajat Farida's point was, mm. what, what makes a man a man is his ability to be the, the, the breadwinner. He's, he's the man in the house. You know, that, that, mm. that's what makes him a man. The moment mm. he fails on that responsibility, if the wife is going to be contributing because you're saying we are all equal 50-50, of course, mm. in a working environment, that can be an agreement that you reach. But mm. if you're going if you're going to determine that now because the wife is buying, the husband is wife, buying, what makes the husband the husband? What, what makes him the husband? No, I'm an African woman. I believe that a man is the head of the family. I think some people will shoot me for saying this, but I'm telling you from my personal values. Mm -hmm. And my husband knows that, and the children know that as well, because those are our values. I wouldn't impose them on another family. But uh, men need to be secure. Your position is yours alone. You are not in a competition. You are the head of the family. You are the husband. And you don't have to be chickening out, feeling like, oh, they have to elevate you all the time. You need to feel secure in your position. And for me, that's the take. I, when I say equal, this is what I mean. Like when Ugandan men think that this woman will come kneeling down and all those things, I knew, of course, in love, not as I must. You see that? I, I love kneeling, but I don't like to kneel because it makes you feel that great. You understand? But the, for me, I think from my friends, the girls from Uganda, they feel that some Ugandan men are still living like they are still at home in Uganda. They don't realize that here. You know, at least most women feel like, get you know, we are friends. You know, we are partners. That's the approach we use. We are partners. We are friends. You know, and then for me, the other thing is, most Ugandan men, not all of them, they 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 think, they think that it's an entitlement. Right. For me, I love it when you feel like you are winning it. You understand, and you work for that love. You, you are earning you, it. You, yes. Money, yes, but you see, they think. When I cook food, I want you to come and say, oh, this food is real lovely even when I cooked when I was rushing. You understand? Because we all came back at six o'clock, you know, not because I've been sitting home, but we are all from work. But look, I got home, started cooking. When you come and look at me and say, oh, well done. You understand? It makes me, you know, get that extra energy. And you know what? I give even more respect. You see that? It, those little things like that, they make you still retain your position as a man, mm. but well, the woman also feels good. Now, that's where other men maybe beat Ugandan men. Maybe. Right. That's what I'm saying. And so, another thing. Hmm? Yeah, would, would the husband that, that cooks, maybe, I mean, if your husband cooked for you, is that something that would give you, would give you the, the shivers in your heart, yes. the butterflies in your stomach? Yes. Absolutely. Can you imagine when you come back from work after a stressful day and then, you know, he surprises you by saying, I'm going to make the dinner. Then I can do other things or I'm cooking and, and you're clearing away stuff. It makes things easy. What does that mean? It means that by the time we all rest, we have the same energy. You get what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's not like for you, are feeling too fresh and me, I'm, I'm knackered. And one <laughs> more thing. Yes. One sure. more thing. Most Ugandan men have not been good partner models for their children. Because I have here, I have here young, you know, young, young girls who say, I can't marry a Ugandan man because I don't want them to be like my father. 
you see. So I think men have a big role to play to prove to their daughters that they are very good partners so that their daughters, when they grow up, can look for Ugandan men. That is my submission at this point. Brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. Well, the men out there, I think you're listening. I think it's one of those times where fighting is fine, but listening is much more important. It might be that there are those little things that you don't see that actually make a huge difference. But sometimes men probably think they try too hard and the women are just too hard to convince. Uh, let's hear from uh, Sharifa. Sharifa, your hand goes up. Sharifa M, please unmute yourself and go ahead. Sharifa. Yes, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Katim Kaira. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Thank uh, you so much. Is, for is your video on by any chance? We'd love to see you. Uh, you, later you. on, inshallah, I will ah, okay. put my video on right now. That's I'm right. a bit indisposed. In yes. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So for me, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to be honest, I'm a realist. For every reaction, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets up in the morning and changes overnight. There is something that has triggered our Ugandan men to be the men they are right now. Right. And the person or the thing that has triggered it is us women. Mm -hmm. If you handle a Ugandan man well, um, Hajjati Kenya has talked about respect. Whether you have the money or you don't, a man is a man. We are living in an era whereby women, they, they, they tend to copy what they see on social media. Absolutely. They think Kardashian's lifestyle <laughs> I can bring it home. Yes. So you, you forget that the men on the other side are making different figures and the, and the community that's the setting in, 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 in the other side of the world is totally different from back home. The well, uh, Sharifa, I can tell you, men, Sharifa, I can tell you that you're getting a lot of relations from the men. Someone is shouting in the chat room saying, Yoga is a volume. Oh, Go ahead, please. I just wanted <laughs> to. But the honest truth, the reason our men are amazing, our men are a gift. The way you handle, whether it is a business, whether it is your child, whether we are forgetting that these are also human beings, apart from them being our husbands. They have their families. They have a backload of weight on them. They have elephants they're carrying. Mm -hmm. The singer, the koja, the cousins, everything is on their shoulders. So you as a wife have to calm down, get on your knees, and tell this man you are amazing. It is amazing. Put the money in his wallet, let him pay school fees. So, being proud. so Shar Sharifa, in other words, the very thing that Tyler Fred was mentioning that the women sometimes feel like they miss. Actually, I think Joy did touch on this. Joy says, you know, like if, for example, I came in, you can see the kind of hustle that I came through arriving home that late, I make you a meal. For you to come out and say, you know, this meal was so lovely. The very thing now can still apply to men as well. The very things that apply to women do apply to men. That's what you're saying. Kasim Kaira, it is our duty to cook. It is our duty. That is a God-given duty. From It's given from God. It's not, it's not, it is something that you have to do. It's our position as women. Mm -hmm. So if you keep doing it and your husband doesn't, don't ask a man to do something for you. Require him. Require right. the man. Don't just tell him, and you didn't say thank you. No, require him. If he doesn't do it the first time. <laughs> Sharifa, Sharifa Singer is just saying, sister, to singer, Kazigo, people are too fed up of Ugandan men. Tell the truth. Doesn't seem like... <laughs> <laughs> Sister, Sigurd, everybody listening that has a bias on this man, yeah. what you're seeing is because you've been told all these stories. You're, you're, we are living in a world where these men are doing some things to their sisters. But by the time a man becomes an animal, mm -hmm. it's something has triggered the animosity in him. 
So what would you say to Husna here who says um, women baba deba kwa tabasa jange chatika but the care is not reciprocated so women got tired of giving 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 without receiving nebavivako now instead of them fixing where they were lacking the blame is put on the women what would you say because, to them? because the intention is not clean mm -hmm. whatever we do if our intention is not clean that is what we get most of most of the women are doing it outwardly they're not doing it from the bottom of their heart but kola just kunguru don't do something don't be in a relationship with your husband hoping on what you get do it for yourself even to your kola mu bufumbo no mwami you're doing it for you and then that feeling automatically goes out there brilliant thank you very much sharifa brilliant thank you very very much sharifa i think another sharifa actually sort of agrees with sharifa to who says get on your knees my dear you need a time machine to travel back in time and meet your elders you are in the wrong generation i think she was responding to husna who was uh, sort of saying our chara back over uh, there's a hand from a man oh dear it's getting very interesting uh, isa makumbi all the way from kampala it's very late it's nearly midnight in uganda and you're up for this conversation thank you very much for joining the conversation your point it looks like something has been burning inside you what has really happened to ugandan men isa makumbi you can unmute yourself please uh, if you please unmute yourself isa Isa, can you hear me? I can see your hand is up. Your video is on, but you haven't unmuted yourself. If you can unmute yourself, please. Isa Makumbi. Isa. Right, he's disappeared, I think. Isa, do we have you? Your hand is still up. Uh, if you can just press that unmute button. I've asked you to unmute. If you can just unmute, please. Your video is on. It's just your voice, your, your, your sound that is not on. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Welcome to the conversation. What is so burning? It is a very interesting topic, but I think men like are doing their job, but mm -hmm. the ladies at times they despise what we are doing. Actually, yes. if we're in the marriage, just a matter of being partnership whereby each one have equal responsibility and share and mutual respect so when you say when you say women despise us what is leading to that probably then if we go to the very they source how did we get we, there mm -hmm. they think that whatever i do is just not all right or they try to undermine the men whereby they make them inferior or to teach the children that the men are, are very horrible yes. but not all not all Ugandan men are like that but why, why, how, why do you think the women have got there? Is it outside influences that have pushed them to get yes. to that situation? Do you think, like, like, like Joy Chapita was, was referring to the Kardashian mm -hmm. life, you know, people are just watching lots of Netflixes and, you know, soaps and stuff, and they try to they've adopt that life to where we've been. Is, is that, is, they've, been watching, that is, they've, been, yeah. they've been watching movies. Yes. And forget where they came from or their background. And whatever <laughs> you do, they despise much of the African culture, mm -hmm. whereby I want to impose the Western culture into our families, and which is incompatible with our lifestyle. So how, how can we get a back our position? I think the, the cup of tea is... I think you have to understand time. each other, have mutual respect. I think that is just a partnership whereby each one has got the same, same share or responsibility in the family or at home. But do you think men, do you think men have gone wrong somewhere? I just tried to mention, you know, men losing the responsibility. They used to buy the stuff, yeah, at home. they used to care. Uh, have men, what's the men's role? Because you seem to be throwing the blame on the women and you, you no, don't seem to talk women. about the responsibility of the men. Where have we gone wrong as the men? They actually they fail to understand that they're living abroad and the way of life has changed, whereby people work, have to work and each one has to contribute to upkeep of the family, where they have to share they work at home. Mm -hmm. But you say, guy, leave home, go, go home, Ari, and sit watching telly, telly or television, not doing anything at home. And expect the wife to come later and do the work, much of the work. Uh, but well, that change, that yeah, life has changed. Mr. Makumbi, what would you say to Sharifa here who's saying the problem we have with Ugandan men is they don't want to accept their mistakes? It looks like we are, we are like the angels who don't you know, make mistakes or commit sins for that matter. 
you know, the way they the way they put it across it's just like a brain culture you just need to talk to them tell them what is going wrong and it's hard to change but you have to keep on doing repeating the same thing every day to 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 get into their head right uh, I then Joy here is saying African culture changes, especially us in the diaspora. In African culture, women stayed at home. Now women even work longer hours, but still the man lives in his African culture dream when he's what living abroad. Said, the African culture where the man was a hunter who is to feed the family yes. and do much of the work. Yeah, but when you talk about this, it's like we are only referring now to the people abroad. But even men in Uganda are still struggling. I mean, yeah, once, yeah, I, once yeah, I flag yeah, this yeah. message across the Ugandan platforms, it, 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 it almost, you know, like went really mad. People were sort of willing and, you know, sort of couldn't wait to come and listen to this conversation because it looks like it's not just a problem, you know, abroad. It's a problem back in Uganda. So it's not just a problem of being away and, and you know, like being in the diaspora. When, when, back when I came back, I was, I, was, I was disappointed and it was just a shock. <laughs> men, have, yes. men have totally lost the control or they don't care about their families. Mm -hmm. They had to do anything. Much of the house maintenance is done by women. Yes. So it is more complicated in this place whereby the state and our culture and conflict. They so claim that men, they claim that men have been given so much power. Yes. And then they made them men feel very uncomfortable mm -hmm. at home, whereby they decide to desert the home and go somewhere else or have. So many girlfriends, whereby I keep on hoping from one from one house to another. Yes, which doesn't solve the problem because you are you are literally just waiting for the next time that that new that new lady now will also become what the other one you ran away from is. So you literally you are not solving a problem. You are just sort of extending Creating the problem. Problems. Yeah. Well, I can see a hand that is burning. Thank you very much, Isama Kugan, for right. staying up this right. late night. And for a person who lived in the UK for decades and then deciding to relocate back home, I mean, that's really great. It's saying what you found in Uganda was not what you really expected. Mars, you look like you were burning. Uh, what is it? Okay. Let's hear from you, Mars. Thank you very much, Isama Kugan. All right, Remember, the conversation okay. is continuing here. We are live on 75 Derby Radio. The program is Come, Let's Talk with me, Kasi Kaira. It's a program that is relaxed. It doesn't stop you from grabbing that cup of tea and then for us having that important conversation. Maz, you, you are live on 75W Radio. What's burning? Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Uh, Assalamu it is, it is a great topic. Um, I know there's a lot of men probably right now feeling a bit defensive of all the things that women are saying in chat at the moment. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a great topic to talk about or to raise, but I think instead of some people being defensive or so, our fathers or our uncles, our brothers, they should really sit down and ask themselves, where have we gone wrong for our women to be complaining about us? I think that if, if they do that, then there is more, you'll find more solutions and probably our mothers or sisters or aunties, they'll stop complaining about Uganda men if you actually take accountability of the things that you're you're doing wrong or you're not doing right, and ma, if you mas, I mean, ma, ma, mas, ma, mas, you're not yet married, yeah, I'm, I'm I am right. not. I am not. I know. So right. most of the points. Would, would you marry? Would you do marry a Ugandan man? Because maybe, <laughs> given what you've heard and the way you're flagging it, uh, would you yeah. consider marrying a Ugandan man? Or have you been sort of felt taken aback because of that? That what you've heard about Ugandan men. For me, for me, it's not about. I love my Ugandan people. <laughs> I love my people. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. however, um, it would depend on the person. Like I've been in the Ugandan community and I've seen how boys behave within the community mm -hmm. and the behaviors they have displayed. They're not really that pleasable to be like, this is the person I want to marry because the behaviors they, they, they display, they, they don't scream, I'm a Muslim, I'm a, I'm a Ugandan man, I'm respectful. Not all of them. And I think sometimes when we say Ugandan men, it's because we generalize so much, we forget that not all men are the same. So I think the generalization is what causes the problem. Not all Ugandan men are the same. But I if, for example, uh, Maz, but for, for, for example, yeah. if, you, if you saw it in one home and you go into another home and you go into a third home, 
uh, mm -hmm. it starts kind of creating a pattern. And I think therefore, while it is a generalization that I'm here, I'm playing devil's advocate here, but it's, it's not a generalization. But if you think about it, you know, you've gone into one home, you've seen the same story, you go to another home, the people that you've related with, it's the same sort of story that is playing, playing out. While it is wrong to generalize all of them, a pattern seems to start building up because you hear from one woman talking about the same things i don't know if you want to start when we were reading a, a, message from, a message from anonymous who was really yeah. really burning and explaining well I, i'll have to read back those messages because for the people who joined later on you might have missed that very very those important points that, that we are sort of coming from the heart but without you know sort of getting into your time mars given what you've had, you're saying it is not right to generalize, but a pattern sometimes probably is formed as a result of one home, second home, third home, probably you start thinking the fourth home will be like that. Mm. And I think with that, uh, I think it goes back to how we were raised. Yeah. So it goes back to how we were raised, I think. And it's up to you, married people, or up to me to work on yourselves individually and then come together as people. Because just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're right, or just because you're a man. I have seen an example. I know Jed Farida um, spoke about how Abbasaji said that they, either they used to handle school fees and women never used to get into that. Mm -hmm. But I've seen an example where someone is trying to register their kid into school and the father has no interest this is a Ugandan man he has no interest in taking he has no interest in what of what is going on into the child's life like he's leaving everything to the wife to, to do so mm -hmm. with the patterns i think you just need to recognize what, what you're doing wrong the, the questions you ask because i'm not a married person it takes a little bit hard for me to answer yeah. but you just recognize the patterns that your your partner is not happy with now, the, the reason I was asking you that, Mars, is because since yeah. you're not yet married, these are yeah. some of the things that might inform, you know, the kind of conversation. Because the problem we've been having is so many people coming up and saying, you know, Ugandan men are this, Ugandan men are this. And then you start, also, it gets into your ears. And as you're meeting a Ugandan man, instead of going with an open mind to sort of say, I, I, I've met a man, I've met a potential person that might be my husband, and you, you, you try to see them for who they are instead of coming with that you know, thought at the back of your mind that might sort of uh, prejudge, push you into a prejudgment even before you give the person a chance. And you jump at the very first opportunity to say, this is what they were saying. This is the reason mm -hmm. I was raising it to you. I wasn't just trying to throw you yeah. to the spotlight. But I was uh, saying, uh, given what you've had, would it inform yeah. then you know, where you go with, you know, with your feelings for a Ugandan man? Uh, me, personally... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have muted. Uh, because, I, like, I'm from. I wasn't born in the UK. I was raised in Uganda, so I grew up with Ugandan men. And even though I'm here, and I work in a workplace that is mostly men, so I see, I see people. Before my mentality was like, I want to marry a Ugandan person because my father is back home. So mm -hmm. I want to marry someone that's able to communicate well with my father, but my perspective changed simply because i see i have more opportunities of finding somebody probably somewhere else not based on where they come from but based on the choices of myself not because they're ugandan or they have these flaws no no no, no. so it's based on what if that person fits what i want and i fit what he wants as well in terms of i am the person that he's looking for and he's the person that i'm looking for then i'll go forward so where he's I know cultures, there's culture clashes and stuff like that that I need to be mindful of. But inshallah, whoever comes and he's right for me, I'm happy with. Yes, all I can say to you is that as a Ugandan community, would feel very happy if you married a Ugandan man. Uh, but of course, yeah, since, since, since we don't determine, <laughs> since we don't decide who we fall in love with, our hearts travel at night and probably the souls meet and you never know what follows after that. Thank you very much, Maz, for a beautiful yeah. conversation. Uh, Sharifa Twaha, I can see your money. Where are the men? I should be asking, because at this particular moment in time, you'd almost wish to have heard from the men. Very shortly after Sharifa, I think we'll bring in Sheikh Kamlegea, just to sort of, you know, bring us into another perspective. And Umar Nyanzi is burning, I can see. Uh, you've already made some points in the chat room, uh, which I think I'll just read out quickly. While once we get a moment, we get an opportunity, we'll be able to address them. You are saying not 
all men are the same. Number two, some men haven't adjusted to the society around us, whether here in the UK or even in Uganda. Three, the demands of life have exceeded our Ugandan men's abilities. Some stuff they just can't handle. That's just nature. Very important for women to listen to that and maybe pick a leaf. And lastly, the women aren't helping either. The women decide to pull out of it very quickly and they think they have tried, probably they haven't tried well enough. Sharifa, you have the phone and I can see many hands now crazily going up. I think the conversation is getting interesting. Sharifa, uh, Sharifa Twaha, you have the mic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi is really amazing. Um, Personally, for me, I would like to say that. Is it possible uh, to have your video on or where you are, you're not comfortable to have the video on? I mean, oh, this, is a, this is a global community conversation and it would be very nice if people can actually see you. Okay, I hope that's okay. Right, okay. No, the guitar wasn't, but uh, hopefully we can see you. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, please. So to, uh, yeah. We stick to Basically, the time. What I, what I feel, what I think is like, um, I think sometimes men tend to think uh, when you're getting to marriage or when you marry someone I'm sorry to use that kind of language but actually oh, happened. yes okay no you have to be in you have to be involved you have to be action you know sometimes they deserve a chance to make some decisions in the house yes you are the head of the house but sometimes involved she gives you that chance because she respects you and she knows it's your role she has the right the same rights obviously i believe in that and then the other point is Social media. I've had people mention about social media in so many ways. Now, this actually work both ways. Sometimes men go watch these crazy videos of uh, women massaging them, and they come back to their wives, do me like how she's doing it, and then they make you feel like you're. They make you feel insecure that you're not doing the right thing. Or one of these women are actually doing the videos. They're trained. They're trained for that. You want to bring it at you in your house. Sharifa, Sharifa, let me just put this to you. Would it be better for you to do your best? Or would you rather allow him to go and get that massage out? I mean, it's, 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 it's a play of both. It's a play of both things. You're saying, but are you safer as a wife? with you trying your best to maybe learn that slowly by slowly, instead of allowing the person to go out and find it? Well, it is one of the rights of a woman to massage your man. I think it's the best thing to do as a woman, as a wife. <laughs> you have to do that. You don't even have to wait for anyone. You ask him if he needs it. Sometimes you don't even have to ask. If you say he's tired, just get your oil and massage him. Make yeah. sure he's down. But don't go as a man and get extract some videos from somewhere and I want you to lift your leg like this. I want you to do this like, please, this is someone's daughter. She's not trained for that. Don't bring such things in your house. <laughs> Sharifa here, the chat room is getting, you know, heated up. The massage issue that you brought in, really not, it wasn't part of the conversation, but suddenly it is really taking up. Uh, Joy Chakwita is already saying, you give me the massage first, then I also give you. Mm. The wife also needs it. I think that's the same thing that almost like man says. Make a massage free of charge. So you, you want it to be paid for because Go ahead. No, you, you doesn't have to pay for you don't have to pay for that. But right. just find a way to approach your woman. Ask her, tell her how you want it. Mm -hmm. Don't try to bring something else from somewhere. Because those people are trained for that. They are making money out of those videos they put out there. Now, Sharifa, so, there are so many hands that are coming up. I'll ask you to just maybe make your last point so that we can get people. Remember, this is a global community conversation. We just want to bring in as many people as possible. It looks like we are getting at that heated stage. Sharifa, you have the mic. Take my us. Last point, yes, my last please. point is that helping out. Omshala, sometimes, yes, and wanga inabana. Looking after kids is very, very hectic. Mm -hmm. especially here in England you can hardly get that sometimes it's hard to actually afford child care sometimes probably if, if we get the right definition 
chisoboka kwangu msaji asoma kunja na sigara wakana atura ku tv na kwata remote abana bali mu nyumba mama afunye tamaina we bali and that is kwanga yasigara de wacho wabagaziza what exactly would you want i think we need to have these specificities to remember kwa munso ni kwanga quite often what, what what goes wrong are the instructions or expectations that we have management of expectations is becoming a problem in sabo when you when you say you need the husband to help with the children what exactly do you want them to do it's not bad as a man to go and wash the kids no banas or rorumu mchalo wabali mkufumba go wash the kids go get the kids ready for school i mean get involved ne sometimes men ignore such things nabela ku remote nabela ku video game sometimes obudde ne bugenda mkazi watu okoye you can't even have time to go to the gym and perfect your body kati gwa mazoku kadia takuyambye ko you look like literally over what na gena tena nonya gala kuwa sa second wife what is that Omwana wabandi omukadiza akongo se na ina kati olumala watono nye second wife ngane go ina to sola moyi amba ko mbintu be obvious basic things at home pick up the kids once in a while fumba ku mere chikuta wo fumba ku mero those are my point Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, Naima Kaira says here, these men overthink we are robots. <laughs> Ugandan men, Bowser shift after shift. That's Naina Kadu. Uh, Zam Zam Buwaga says, no, I mean, uh, it's true. Chogere ko Naima says, Sania, sewa Sheikh Zaid Ibani, abatukoya singa mutu ya abatuwa andi koye di. That is Umu Raihan. Joy Chakwita says, I find a man who gives children a bath. Uh, bath and puts them to bed to be very romantic. Amina says, or Asia says, I agree with you, Naima. May Allah guide our sons. Luachi Ruba Luarumu. That is Namatofu asking. Suga Arumu to Jo Umusule Muka. Surprise. Hajat Jowaria says, Sharifa Uwabura. Amizemi is a Dozaki Kaya Massage. Let's go to the hands. Loads of hands that are already up. I'll get a man just to balance it out a little bit. Idris Sampanga, come in, please, and uh, give us your view, Sheikh. Welcome to the program. Idris Mpanga Sebo. Kuruwa Basaji. Hey, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa alaikum salamu wa rahmatullahi. Sheikh Emigo Ojiwuri De. Emigo Ojiwuri Da. Na, bifira wa. Emigo Ndoza Mwezo Banga Mwavika Wela Na yu tuwaliko ku program Yepana Nyiriza Weti. Na ye chindaka lukusaba bandanga abatuliza na abatulaba ebintu tubijemu anyasinga banange bintu tubijemu anyakola chi anyasinga wabula tukili tutule ku meza nga tutula nga echi tutuziza kuetereza atinyaka tukilize nti banange Allah yatukola we yatukola nateka u omusajja no omukazi Eki tutu ina wetu chijira u. Ngu mkazi, mkazi, aina rolo ye. No muami, muami, wano msajja, msajja, elai nobuchi, mbuna anizi wawo. Kati, evi nitu ino, mbade nyaka tubije mwenye obu sungu, walu wawa teseza, haba sosesi ina wende nyati ya teseza, wifele, mbuna wawa teseza burunji, na yu walu wawa teseza, nga wakiza kuku balansinga. Ndi uza tuandi wa demo ungeri, e kolachi, e geza kuku balansinga. Nesha kwa 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 Tata ga yenye gira, tata tichisa gira kuingira mchibu gira kufumba, whatever, but he would know what is happening around the home. Kumye wawaka, sits down, asks so, nakuru genze rutia, you know, like, listen to every child, I will know nakuru watamu de rutia, hadia tigwa baso kende kukufuna report ye. The men today are not doing that, and that has cost us a chitu a chitu very important. Kwanti ni otoso wena kutengira na bada wabaa siwe, wasomye, wakoseiti, Already, you could jump a picture of that responsibility. Sheikh, the Tanzanian government is taking a responsibility over those failings in Tanzania. The government will be taking no fear. Njia kubda mo, haja timoto fonyo. Nisaga tuwe la bidenti wana ngi nsi na yeye kola chi, echusem. Eminembeja jafu, jafu avenka gata ano, nolwale ro biyebi intulisi bilala. Walwe bichuse, ebiti koko kuchoka. Besi inzagana, na ila nitusigalanga tutambula. 
Seka nitu siga langa. Enzo ngea tuji kwa atila wa mwa devi nitu viko zechi. Bichu use. Na hechi echi zivu nitu evi nitu we bichu use. Ato ludolu mune luba. Nitu ita u. Chitu wagambi ya jati ya chogede kwa lugu mtesi ya chogede konti o mtu wa uloku wafunye sente, uloku wafunye chino, uloku wafunye chino, meera vila. Ovuna nizi waburi, uwe mbeira nechuka na wanga, tacha ayogala, tacha, tacha ayogala gambo wako. Sese, uweyogere dawe njini, waruko atate mchatru, mchara jojo ya gami, I think I got the best Ugandan man. Eh, I know you are here, but I'm become teach your Ugandan brothers. Kwa kwa mwono mwono mchara wa sima nchi, ewe tuina jepitambu. Kwa 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 si za gama tino alasajia tu kuzi uba kuzi burundi chikumi kuchikumi na hendo za waliwa sajia tu pali doyeda ya chuo la kundi waliwe nchi njia uro na hii kaka tu seka njia la uaba gamba nti Uganda man ya basuri mupini ngani muala uwe uba muzukuru wake tini zina muzukuru wangu na uli hichi gamba hicho juu kila wetu ajira mbere na kigeja sio kanti waliwe nyio tuafu na basi ngo mama mbani ukubwa tino Aba ntutuze mwusi, nsi ndala kakati hili mba diba mba mfu kakali kampecha akula bila kecho, kati nze ntu wala bulichimu, then awe tuafu nila black bag ze nyingi nyo chitegeza, aba na banja, aba ni mbele yu, kakati omwana akuze, nti aba sagi wana Uganda saga na kukola chi, na kulaba ko, na hii maridiza, bani njagala enso mbeo ntuju, kwa ate kikazi chikulu kisajia chichi, nga situno onyanyasi mbabula tuteleze za tutia umusaji ya vila nubufu na anjiziwa umusaji ukubela unugama nze sija kola kasitu mchala aleta akachi akamwanyi ii mbila tuteli uo umusaji ubo uwede mnyo mea jati pali ya tukukiza na hindi ya kani sheke jie mali ya wasaji ya abo haa haa wasaji ya abo kati ya ubaba wachi amu nao abu tute kubabu mea tupaga banangi ebi ntusiwe vikulachi Umkazi kala akula na unomu ni miya kusinga nina ute kukula kubuchi, umufuna anjiziwa. Awa saji ya wamu, umuza mikuwanu jafi, nganu wana jaso mila tamanyi yo. Kazi ita parenti ibinis, parenti ibinis. Umuza, tamanyi na muana jako lachi. Umuana nakula nga manji mama yikaya agenda kuchi, embele yu. Maliliza nakana, kaseba yu nina uenda ga. Niti wali waka seira, wetu haji ila na ina mkwano kwa henga na kajewa nuseka kanko geri ya mpola wana temu mpuli da nti nti muna Uganda mkazi mwaya kalua mkazi muna Uganda muwe boksi ya matoke uwechi wachuri lako eh kakaji nikitigeza vali yo mkazi muna Uganda mmsegi ya muna Uganda tusu ula gula matoke muna Uganda kajewa muna Uganda muna Uganda kajewa muna Uganda kajewa muna Uganda kajewa muna Uganda kajewa Atom jana no wa na mu angula no sigalango gamba bisa jambi na Uganda bichi bana itu tule kumeza mbega ili da tu kirize na e e guanga yo di erichi e guanga yo ni ni tu pali da ati mbili yos tu bikola chi tu tu bimani salamu alikum walikum salam barakallahu fi kum jaga zako kubara singa dete mo aida chifari danga da kuleta shortly after le kamaru kwenye zako bikola jina kato nolo zoje ubelenti wa wula ngenda kufara msajja mchara msajja mchara msajja mchara tisa uroku mwanti tutu ya amba wakudilinga Aisha wale tiriwa Aisha wale tiriwa if you can unmute yourself please assalamu alikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu sabe video yo please if you can if you don't mind hello Conversation is much better with the videos on if you don't. Assalamu mind. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, second, the point is that I'm going to talk about the massage. The massage is going to be able to get the massage. The massage is going to be able to get the massage. The massage is going to be able to get the massage. The massage is going to be able to na draginga na draginga na draginga na beda wiza no chisabira omwezi why is it so nga nga gosa bi massage obangu wi nga gosa bi massage ne yebwa chisaba yaka ji muwere wote yaka obina ku mm it's such a buzo chibuzo eh in somehow na yes i mean 
It has well, it's, it's, it's a conversation between Kwavi and Western Water with Flag is in the Chibus of Saja and Daku. To move the Wati Yava, Biagara, I tell you, I tell you, Yagara. Avani for Eva Chimbagalach made it on point. Waja, Jagalachino, a many eight days, you know, she made a Najabichi, you know, Nagamba, no Gavana, and Koyo Nakulaba, and all I need is just a massage. I'm tired, I've been Kosechino, Kosechidi, Wap, Nagamba Nedda. Ubandi bize, ubandi chino, ubandi chakula chino, uluma na gamba kwe yu njagala kwe baka. Mm. Nga so, tawa wa kwe bambi. Wanji? Nga tawa wa kwe bambi. Nedda. <laughs> Nange mba nkoye. Kwa nange mba sibe wakanga kwe. Aba mwaba chana, fina tukua. We all have the same blood. Tukua na ye. Ngogendo rusi nukula, nukula half day, nukuma unu ufumba, nuna zavana, nukula chi. Nukula always. Aba chana, iba sema yoku yingiri uvulidi. Mbutufu uwa yingiri da, ngukoye. Because you have to make sure everything is done properly for the next day. At the Umrai had one agant, men, it's easy to receive a woman's respect singer would take a psychology of a child. Psychology would be a psychology, Kitcha, much in the hour, which I know twenty eight degrees. Avan, you never take a psychology of a child around so anti bo Eva Balo was and things are supposed to be their way, not the lady's way. Katia have a child, so I now could get the sun, now could get the sun, now could get the sun. I can no longer talk like. Tomuka to vai. Tomuka to tomuka na be na giving up. Be mm. sense of kwetu na bachala kola chi oku giving up ko enyu aba mwami walo mwami agambi awo aba bachala ba giving up mangu They don't give up mangu nyo. Ladies take time. They aba bachala ba singo bugumi kiliza mbu. Actually mjara isha mjara isha recently lately actually what has become very apparent is many women of today's women level ya patience divine is really minimal. Threshold ya patience the mwina aba bachala wo mwende guno. Sometimes it doesn't even allow people to be able to adjust to what would have come in. Would you agree? No, say catch a chogamba co patience, the bottle she take it day. When Kugamba Lero, Nancha, Omez Neguaco, Nanquato Gok with the Omwaka, Om Challenge of Malo Mwak, Nai Bechin to Chimu. Honestly, why would I think for that for a year? And yet, you when you want it, you want it there and then. Well, Nifa, Nifa, Nifa here is saying women's psychology is so easy. All a woman wants is to be loved. Kakati ingeria love dia yuko na yeye is subjective. For into kwa umsaidi ya kwa mazi yewe kutu deno ganti ni ndakusi mbele na kaka kongo I have loved. Ogeni kwa mazi yewe kutu tasi ni kati you know how how do you start measuring? Ona measuring kwa choka na enti kati kumu mtu seko point. Kwa anga ujaga na ora benti kwa love juu ya gara ati mvude wu ngenze wu mchea lo mura mchea lo ati kati ya akuti de wu ga fresh I feel loved. How do you measure that? That will be the last one I shall so long get up. Seka, love or sobology pimina kumuchala, or in Gabo Gain to get up one or another satisfied, or your needs as a bazazo. Nay, normally, Avami, when they have the first wives, let's say Baba Kowa. No ko muntu kubanga omuchala agambye ko ntuba bakadi yeba ko tuseba ko zibatya ateye tugobo mukutude kati nola boli ngateye bo mugenda ko kuba redo mazo musettinga mu mind yet no ye kino kyo yagala chiti kyo yagala nature jokola mm. asubura ku wininga yu after that eroja kulanga na yo mukoyi but they need to be loved keep loving <clears throat> them keep uh, move abachala temba tunira kubira bo temba wa ku love toko maono ka ati mundange ronze ngendo kufumba oba tugende ko out abami abana yuganti bato ala bachala out they don't give them pressure aisha kanuka ka kuwe gatonda ngenda kuba ngenda genda wa uma binyanzi ngeza okendeza sheka mlege andaba ya mazoku tuka i wanted to come to him and that father so ro pointing to tufuna okuzimba ekinyusi emikono mingi nyo and all of you are going to have an opportunity to come on aisha wolgo problem yo chara na dalaba if we talk about a better to be there, Uganda somehow a child in Uganda by Nigga Jiba 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 Matiza Mungi in Yangu. Um, Charo, we would I get on quite the pound if such a pound each community Karabuka again to repetitive way of Gulida. As to know the day, no man knows this or the Zam, or Mazosi Mukwasa, Nazi Samukama, Mumanyo, and Mojuda, or my own souls or use an empire, Mumbera Yabu Mutiava. That really kills the spirit. Um, Charo, we want to give him to sent in Yinjiko. A threshold ya mwana yaga wajiteke wa gurungate o msolina ya genze kusinzi na kumfuna ye o wane circumstances za wali oroza uwe nite wali wachizikwe chava chara wajinyo kumanti chamuchama chizika 
you can't come after a year ngabulu na kuogena no kula ne fumba no lia and then you want to come back after a year and you give me 300 pounds honestly njakusoza bebali nyo you are live on 75W Radio. The program is Calm Talk with me, Kasim Kaira. Remember, you can text us. You can call into the studio. And that is plus 44772-057-0307. Umar Nyaz, I'll be coming to you, but there's someone who has just called. And I'll take that call. It's another Aisha, actually, after an Aisha. But because they have called, I think I'd rather hear them out. I shall go ahead, please. You're live on uh, live on 75W Radio as well as on Uma Connected. Go ahead, please. Hello. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Thank you very much for calling in. Thank you for the topic as well. Mm-hmm. Um, what I, uh, one, my contribution is about the, the lady was just said, um, uh, the love or, or I think it was Nick or somebody who said all women want is love. Yes. Uh, from my point of view, love is not enough. Mm-hmm. Love uh, is not enough. Love is something that has to be integral with other things. Mm-hmm. I would not appreciate a man who loves me, but as uh, 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 alongside of uh, supporting me and helping me in terms of the day-to-day things. What I what I mean by day-to-day things is uh, um, help me out at home with the chores. Like the lady say, take the children to school. Let's do things together. Most especially when we're in this country where we don't have any any kind of a mate. Right. Love is an intergroup, and, and that's where I think men are failing more. Mm-hmm. You know, you come back tired, but you need a man who will actually help you be supportive. Mm-hmm. And in any way, if the man is supportive, love just flows. The love will just flow. You you don't need to ask a woman or beg a woman or maybe ask for something. It just flows if you see a man who is very supportive. Um, a supportive understanding. Understanding means that they will understand you actually as well. Tired, you go to work um, uh, as well as him. So you will kind of balance up things. But as long as, even if there is love and mm-hmm. somebody is not supportive, unfortunately, things will not work. Well, I, I think that seems to agree with someone in the chat room who is saying love isn't yeah. enough. People divorce, exactly. but they still say, I still love him or her. You would agree exactly. with that person? Yes, yes, I will agree with that person 100%. Right. It has to be something with compliments. You know, it's not about love. Someone who says, um, uh, uh, because I love you, you know, and men tend to come in, they, they want to make love. No, it's not about love. You want to make love, you want to, you know, compliment your love with other things, to be fair. Right. Okay, yeah, thank you okay. very much, Aisha. What would you say? Zaid Mugarura here is saying uh, President Samia Suluhu. That's a very current story. I think that probably we might be able to touch next week, assuming something else very interesting doesn't come up. But uh, Mugarura here is saying President Samia Suluhu Hassan will still kneel before her husband. She said that publicly, even while president. And we are dealing with intimidation and bullying. So the women now don't. Those little things that actually make the men melt and want to do what you want them to do. Don't you think probably you are failing on your part and that is pushing men to be unable to deliver on what you want them to deliver on? Aisha? Yes, I was asking you because Zaid Mugarura here in the chat room was saying uh, yes. President Samia Suluhu Hassan, she's declared that she will continue to kneel before her husband, even while president. Uh-huh. And we are here dealing with intimidation and bullying. So he's saying that the women, the women are failing to do the small things that melt the men's hearts, allowing them to do what women want. Don't you think that probably men are failing to do what you would want them to do because you have failed to do what they would expect you to do? You know what? Mm. Both sides can melt each other. Yes. As long as you, you've agreed on certain things. Mm. I think melting comes both ways. You will melt me when you are very supportive. For me, that you will melt me. Uh, but another person, it might be something different. But I think all ladies will agree that uh, complimenting on love and compli- complimenting support is these are all things you put in one basket. Mm-hmm. We cannot put only love in one basket. We have to <laughs> all right. We have to have other 
other things to supplement what we call love, and then it will start melting. Brilliant. Barakallahu feekum, Aisha. And you have called us on the studio line, which is 772-057-0307. Uh, uh, and it's live on W Radio. The program is come. Let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira. You can surely feel this is a global community conversation. Issues that affect us in all our ways. Chiwanuka is here for the man. He's saying, Katinza Fumba, Nentwana Nabana, Kusomeru Wamune, Vigende Rako, Aumbang, Wawa. Now you're going to get it up. And uh, probably there might be complaints that you haven't actually loved yet. Uh, Talha Mohammed said women forget the purpose of their creation. Mm, that might be subject to a lot of interpretation. Aisha says Ugandan men of today don't deserve to be knelt down for. Wow, that is another very heavy one. Umar Unyans, your hand has been up very long. Everyone whose hand is up, I'll come to you. Please try to keep it short so that we can bring in everybody. This is a global conversation. Sheikh Amrege, I've not forgotten you. May I get great and hijacked for so that we can get to make sense of all these points that are getting raised here. Uh, Umar Nyans, you know, your hand has been up for quite some while. Go ahead. Fire out. Umar Nyanzi. Oh, did he put his hand down? Uh, he was, his hand was up. Let's go to, we just had a man, I think. Uh, Umar Nyanzi was there. Uh, suddenly he's disappeared. Okay, let's go to Hasfa Kasuja while we wait. Hasfa Kasuja. And Abu Fahima, your hand has been up, but because it's in brown, <laughs> all the yellow hands are easy to see. I'm, I'm sorry, I'll come to you. I'm sure you're also burning. Umurai, uh, Hasfa Kasuja, please come in. And then we'll go to Umurai Han. Hasfa, if you can unmute yourself, please. Hasfa. Um, uh, like Mark, which well, like salam. Today we have just pleaded with everybody to sort of bring on their video, given the sweetness of the conversation and just for the purposes of our recording. I, I'm sorry, I'm driving. You're unable. unable. To ah, right. All right. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Fire um, up, please. iPhone Juliet was before me. Yes. Oh, iPhone Juliet was before you? iPhone Juliet was before me. Well, let's go to her then, because I think it's 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 it's, it's a drill of fairness here. Umar Nyanzi was yeah. on, and then we, we just he just missed his slot. Let's go to uh, iPhone Juliet. iPhone Juliet, please welcome to the program. iPhone Juliet. Oh, iPhone Juliet, are you there? So while iPhone Juliet comes, when once we have her, we shall continue. Hasfa, go ahead, please. I'm here now. Oh, Juliet is up. Yeah, Juliet is here. As far if you can hold. Yes. Yeah. Good evening, Juliet. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Yes, you've just been listening in, and I'm sure you have a point of view. Yeah. The, my no, my 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 point was we're talking about Uganda women. Maybe I came in. Um, Uganda men. Sorry. Uganda men. Yes. Maybe my point is: Are we? What about? Did we consider the culture? Or oh, I came in after the culture. Right. What, what do you mean by the no, we, 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 we had gone with Ugandan men in general, and then sometimes it, when you start breaking it down, then it no, might no, that's what I mean. Yes. So if you say Ugandan men, you may find that it is natural mm -hmm. or it is a culture mm -hmm. for the others in the other tribes. Yes. You know that is the thing. That is where I was, you know, considering. Okay, Ugandan men are these. But you may find that the languages do it differently. Right. Well, okay. I mean, I, I don't mind you exploring that. That would be your view because the problem we've had here is as a community, the, mm. the, the discussion has always come up as Ugandan men and then we are all piled up in one box. While we find that there are particular similarities because actually even, even with the intermarriages, even the kind of... Uh, collaborations because people have left Rukungiri, they have left Liyanto, they have yeah. left Atapara, they've ended, they have left Atura, they've ended up in Kampala and we are all in that melting pot. And they, that melting and they pot now has started creating. Culture. So we started, we, we, we generated a new Ugandan culture. That's why it was, you know, sort of, you find that there are so, those generalities that seem to apply to all. So which means that this sticky must start from Kampala then. They all come <laughs> in and then. <laughs> well, if you, you, you tell me, you tell yeah. me. Well, yeah. Do, do you, what, what do you from think is wrong they there? came and yes. ended up in Kampala, so which means they took on all the... Hey, hey, you know where I go. <laughs> no, no, I, I'd rather hear it from you, I'd rather hear it from you, Juliet. So what do you think has gone wrong then with the Ugandan men? 
yeah, we all copy. They all came from wherever they came, mm -hmm. came to Kampala, went to Twentebe, came to England, and they all took the same thing. So that is what is gone wrong, copying from each other. Mm -hmm. That culture thing that women are there to be domestic people, like taking them domestic. Whatever they do, whatever they try to, to, to change the culture, not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Because as we live in this country, we come in, there is much pressure. So everything should be shared equally. You sit down, you see what is best for your family, mm -hmm. and you take that on. Julia, That's what do, I think. Do you have because children? if you think that, okay, I'll do respect, you do reserve some respect. I don't think if you respect each other, there yes. will be anybody who is equal or who is not equal. I think mm -hmm. you should all be the same. Sit on the table, see what is best for your family. And that's it. Do you have whether any children, Julius? Pass, whether yeah. picks the children, because we work different times, different right. hours, different jobs. Mm -hmm. So things will differ in any way. It's just for you to sit down and see what is best. If it is going to the school and there is time, you can both go. Both parents can be there. So, it doesn't go Juliet, do you, have, do you have children? Becca is my son. Oh, right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was I... So would you, would you support your son to marry a Ugandan woman? Given, you know, I mean, it's, it's because he, he's, he's a Ugandan man. Are you happy, for example? We, yeah, he's got, he's already got a... Now, actually, it's, it is very, very interesting that you're a mother to a person who is very active even on these forums. A lot mm. of complaint has been with the parents not having mm. transferred the values that make the men men. Do you think you have inculcated in your son the values that make him a good husband that would be viable to marry a Ugandan woman? Yeah, that Any is... Woman? That. I don't think I can talk much about that. <laughs> no, but it's, it's about the parents. It's about the parents. It's the, it's parent. about the parents. Yes, yes, it's the parent because he's my son. Whatever I say, it mm -hmm. is hard to, you know. But with with him, yeah, I'm so happy that he's got a, a Ugandan wife, yes. my daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. and all the qualities show. Mm -hmm. I think they come from both sides, Baker's side and Hadija's side, in. So you, you think you did your job? You did your I job. I did my did job. job well. Yeah, Brilliant. I did my job. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. And stay, <laughs> Thank stay you for taking me on. Brilliant. Uh, as for as for Kaswinda, come back, please. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Waalaikum salam. You've just had Juliet. She's raised yes. a, a son who she's proud of, who has done a job out there. That's wonderful to hear. Uh, we've been, we've had a lot of bashing of uh, Ugandan men. What's your take on that? My thing is, we demystify the men in comparison to who? Because when you say Ugandan men, when we always say Ugandan men, Ugandan men, in comparison to who? Where is the litman sister says that this is, this is the barometer of what a man should be or shouldn't be? Well, the conversation has been around people coming and saying, for example, Nigerians, Nigerian men are very caring, they will be there, and Ugandan men are not. I mean, I'd, I'd rather hear it from you, your, your personal I, experience. I, 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 I do not, I personally, I detest that word. I detest to hear that. I don't like it. Because when I think about it, when I think about our men, I think about the community we live in, mm -hmm. the communities we live in. I see Nigerians, I see Ghanaians, I see Indians. Every community has its own weaknesses. Every community has its own fall uh, 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 issues. You hear divorce, you hear domestic violence, you hear everything. But when I hear the, de de the demonizing of the Ugandan men, it really hurts me because I think about most of the people who say like women, I would say my age, we have children, we have sons. So when we say stuff like that, what is it going to say about your son? Will, as for, will I, as for, I, I, I come think, and I marry think, my daughter? Yes, as for, I think that that plays into someone in the chat room who at a particular time, I think, did mention, I think it was Ismail. Ismail said that the community is the reflection of each other. If you have a problem with Ugandan men, then definitely there should be a problem with Ugandan women. That probably they, they are a mirror, they are a reflection of one another. And I think if the, if, the, if, if the shoe was put on the other foot and you say Ugandan women, the bullets and the, the, the clothes will come out mm -hmm. because we do not want to hear our own, our own weaknesses as women because we, we don't want to hear that. But I say it is not a blend thing. It should not be that Ugandan men are not good. It should be how do we make our, our marriages or our homes? How do we, how, what do we do to make them better? Instead of saying the 
Ugandan men, the Nigerian men, they're very generous. They may be generous, but at the end of the day, they have their issues too. We, we, you, you hear how they, they, they encounter free things. And you see someone has been driving a lavish car and they're dishing out money and it's all fake. The next thing you is know, they, they're out and taken to jail. Exactly, and it's all fake. The next thing, you, you know, you, you see so, so much. But me, I say, if we have our children, we are raising our children, we, if we continue with that mentality, who, how, how are they going to love us? I say, wherever you are, and I, I'm sorry to say this, but those who have married across, across cultures, this especially goes to our sisters, that if you're happy with whether you have a Nigerian, whether you have a white man, alhamdulillah, be happy, enjoy your marriage, but don't demonize these other ones because you did not make it with a Ugandan man. It doesn't mean that they're bad. Brilliant. Thank you very much. It doesn't make them bad. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Yes, uh, JFK or oh, Zamzam Muang, I think was up uh, earlier. And then I'll go to uh, Hajat Farida and Sheikh Kamlegia after this, and then we'll bring in the last ones. Uh, Zamzam Muanga, please. Uh, you know, it was JFK, I think. JFK, please, if you can come in. JFK, if you can unmute yourself. Uh, sure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Are you in a position to start your video, please? Or you're not comfortable? Uh, not at the moment, sorry. Okay, that's the last um, I'll, be, I'll be quick. I'll be quick. Right. It's, it's very, it's, it's very, un, it's very unfortunate that you brought me to speak just after my older sister has just spoken. Oh, and I that, feel, well, that, that's called coincidence. And I feel like, yes. I feel like I can't, I can't say much more because I appreciate what she has said. She's mm -hmm. been, she's been realistic and given us, given us an, ex, um, the reality. Mm -hmm. What we have is, what we have here is a problem where we are coping cultures. We are coping things, and some of us, like Shane Panga said, some of us have come, have integrated into the, the system, the new system of being outside the country, outside of Uganda, and others have been stuck back home. But the thing is, women want men to change to a white man, to a Nigerian man, but then the woman wants to stay a Ugandan woman of the 1950s, where the man did everything and provided everything. That's why you hear every woman who's saying Ugandan men don't give money, Ugandan men don't give gifts, Ugandan men don't do this. But it's just that even when you mentioned to Aisha, you said, if I give you three, and Ugandan man gives you 300 pounds, she's like, I'm Kusoza. Yeah? Yes. Things like that. It's, you appreciate what I'm giving you. <laughs> in this country, in this country, in this country, in this day and age, even someone giving you five pounds with the responsibilities we have. I, when I came here, a white man said to me, this country is nothing that doesn't cost you. He said, you shit, you pay. Meaning when you go to the toilet, you need tissue, you need the water, you're going to use everything. You pay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, Jeff, I'm only leaving you because of yeah, the many hands and yeah. time is beginning to uh, Shay, 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 yeah. let me finish with this point. Please do. All, yeah. I, all I'm asking is all of us need to come to the table. Mm -hmm. Women and men, you're in your marriage. You need to come to the table. You know your man. You know your woman. If your man, even if your man does a hundred things, you will always come and say that one thing that he didn't do. That's why they say it takes one wrong turn to destroy every good you've done. Mm -hmm. So please, all we need is to care for each other, understand each other and be there for each other. That's Brilliant. all you need. JFK, thank you very much. And uh, actually, Khadija here in the chat room says, this is a real kasuja. I think she was referring to Hasfa. May Allah reward you, sister uh, Hasfa. And Ustad Zaid was saying, tell her to the extent that we are immune to their complaints now. But uh, uh, about Baker, I think Ustad Zaid was saying, he's my, he's my niece, uh, he's a very, very good husband. Uh, Abe Sebiara says, Jojo, I'm glad to hear you appreciate your Ugandan man. We all have shortfalls, but it's, it's important to understand your partner's weakness and work together to improve each other. 
Talha is still fighting there in the chat room says over how do they compare some things like saying Ugandan men aren't romantic. And I'm like, how did she compare romance with other men who are non-Ugandan? Uh, just get on time, Sharifa says, time machine to go meet ladies in the 1950s, please. Umi says, she said after a year of hustle, I think she was saying, oh, she was even complaining. Umi was complaining about the kneeling. Maybe it's a culture thing. Men do not need to change their identity. They just need to fulfill their roles and responsibilities, says Umu Sulaiman. Umar Nyaz was saying, Narongo, not all men have dropped their responsibilities, not even half. Only a small number, and for your case particularly, my role model is my brother. Only with the way he has committed to his responsibilities to his family, some sisters here should only be proud of their husbands. We are trying. Joy is saying, I make my own money. All I need is love and care and attention. Uh, uh, all I need is that Ugandan men can be loving. We just need to work on our marriages and we shall be admired. Besides, Ugandan women are the best. Who says no? Well, to the hands now as we start wrapping up. Um Rayhan, Zamzam, and then I come to Sheikh Kamlegea and Hajat Farida to uh, help us wrap up. Uh, um Rayhan, please, if you can unmute yourself. Um Rayhan, if you can unmute yourself, please. Keep it short and sweet, please, so that we can have in more people. And could you put on your video if you don't mind, please? Unless there's a reason you don't mind. No, I'm not in a position to, to please put my go video on a minute. Yeah, um, most of us hearing you. Uh, thanks, everyone. For the and apologies for keeping your hand up for quite long. Uh, I think you, you, you are enjoying the conversation as well, I'm sure. That hand I was, I was following everything in the chat. Um, I think uh, my response would be it's not so much. Um, they personally, I would scrap the word Ugandan mm -hmm. and maybe widen it out, but that's a story for another day. Is that to uh, African men or to men in general? Um, I think it's just generally the grounding of our African brothers. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the ladies mentioned that is these things are rooted in culture. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing about culture, it's quite, um, what's the word? A like it kind of gets it's into deep. it. It interferes yeah. into many many spheres of life. Yeah. So I think if I give the example of people living in the diaspora, like us who are not living in Uganda, um, I think sometimes it's a case of you have to adjust to the environment in which you live. For example, I think uh, the the gentleman that gave the example of. Um, or when or no more, what you think is sizable, and then maybe yeah, or I don't think I don't think it's a fact that Tasi me, but I think generally, if if we take the Ugandan lifestyle and standard of living and everything that's there, it's obviously going to compare differently to where we are at, mm -hmm. so. My the experiences I've had with some of my brothers is like when they when this when they fulfill their responsibility, for example, Kangambe as basic as Kugula Mere, mm -hmm. it almost becomes as of course not all of them, but this is this is something I've noticed. It, it it's almost like they feel a sense of mm -hmm. you see, you see, like if you come home and have cooked the food. If, 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 if those are like the cultural sort of expectations, what? if you come home and there's a hot meal, mm. you know, I'm oh, just oh, trying to... Well. Yeah, I'm going to criticize my responsibility. <laughs> yes. Whereas I feel like, likewise, our brothers, because um, I don't know where this has come up, but it's something that I've noticed often because there's this narrative that basically... Mm to either keep a woman or to, to, I suppose, to pin down a woman, basically you have to do it with money. And for me, that is something I strongly disagree with, right? Well, uh, actually, I think that seems to agree on Facebook uh, via corporate uh, Muslims. Kalyango Musa Mutesasra, who is staying up late in the night to follow the conversation, is saying, my personal view on this topic is that ladies in Uganda forced men to have less respect for them by making jokes like, better get rich, otherwise no lady would ever dream of you. Such jokes justifies the fact that ladies are only looking for money, and that's why those well-off men have no respect for ladies any longer. After all, we men know that ladies are after our cash. 
Yeah, I, I, th I, th I think that narrative is, is not actually um, doing us any favors because, mm -hmm. um, and, and I've noticed this is, this is like a common trait, even when some of the prominent sheikhs are preaching, like, and I think, I, and I think if, if, if you're living with a person, at the very least, you have to be human. I think we start with being human. So in, in a simple example where we live, for Fongan, one of the ladies said, like, if you live in a household with your partner, there is the sharing of responsibilities. First of all, we have to differentiate between roles and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. If Allah has made the man's responsibility to provide and the woman's responsibility is maybe to nurture the children and to whatever, look after the home, mm -hmm. those are responsibilities that you know have sort of been set either from Allah or from culture. But at the end of the day, we are existing as humans, right? So if there is something in the house that needs doing, mm -hmm. why does it necessarily have to be chino chicho chino changi? Exactly. This whole yes. thing of gen gender, so of these gender-based roles are also the, quite- The generalization of roles in the home. Exactly. Well, I, I'm so, only leaving you because I thank you very much for a very beautiful point that you're raising here. I just want to bring in more hands and see more no hands. Worries. Thank you very much thank for your you. patience and thank you for a great Hi. contribution. We are live on 75W Radio. Program is come. Let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira. I'm seeing some hands that are coming up and yet I wanted actually to have the big people now to sort of give us a sort of a wrap up. But I'm sure they will be happy to sort of come in and we we'll wrap the conversation in a manner that at least will provide guidance. Because what I think we are aiming for is not to throw blame. It's not about the apportioning of blame, who is best and who is worst. We are trying to look at at these issues that are coming up, are there ways that we can avert them? Is there a way that we can redress them? Is it too late for some of the situations? In fact, I will try at least actually to expand because I noticed that here in the conversation, we've got some people who are not necessarily from this particular community. We've got people who are actually coming up on the program for the very first time. I always look for these particular people and then target them, but it will be interesting. Just before I go to the hands, uh, Zamzam Mwanga promise I'm coming to you. That is my promise. Let me try to see if Asia, uh, Asia, if you can unmute yourself, please. Asia, your hand is not up, but I just want to raise something with you because this is about Ugandan men coming in from a different perspective. How would you, you know, gauge this? Yeah. Asia? The Asia, are you there? I'm very certain you can hear us. I just wanted to get your view, but then since, uh, Asia, are you there? Right, okay, I'll just go to Zamzam Mwanga while I get Asia. Asia, please, uh, if, if you don't mind, if you can just come on, because we've heard a lot about Ugandan men and someone who's just spoken, I think it was Umu Raihan was sort of saying she wanted to widen the perspective away from just Ugandan men to probably African men. So hearing from another perspective, especially the person that is participating in the program, would really be very interesting to just hear your particular take from where you're at. Uh, Zamza Muwanga, you have the mic. If you can unmute yourself, please. We are nearly As getting to the time. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Do you mind putting on your video? Or you, we are not comfortable I'm, where you're at. I'm not in the position at the perfectly moment. Perfectly fine. You are perfectly fine. Go ahead. Yeah, I have a few points. Um, so one of the points is I find that these days being again they're not taking their responsibility serious enough. these days, the most the most important thing that the was not even how to grow family. He's always thinking about how to get another wife, or he's already thinking, okay, there's another there's another girl in the community that is looking to get married. Yet again, family. What is family these days? It is a value, a meaning. Do not disrespect without, without appreciating a choice, without appreciating a family. And mm -hmm. most of the times we find that the fathers will not even stand there because, yes, fair enough, Islam allows for uh, up to four wives if you can afford it. Mm -hmm. But you find it, they can't even, they barely even afford looking after this one woman because of what to gamma by now money go away but this that's not all that it, it takes now you know quick and a man you give one and a gong real and truly never cast everybody happy they never go make it is that because as women we tend to be very patient 
Amani nga tuga laba o, you know, to send to my work, and inga work a sea area where ye one yant you work a waso moon to um go it and never kumala chiti sela chiao or red or located a kubanti no funachi or musaji Yes. Now we na ama do nanga yini tona kumpu sam to the point I'm like, you know I'm satisfied. Nanga na yaga dokumenti tuka to the point nanga matoke mama wanga jira gundi wenali baden da ba tibanga yeta gom kazuma nanga dakuwe da maybe happy nanga matoke you know what he's a good man he's been but you haven't fulfilled your issues. What way you get the entire bacha that waga la nyoo tula ba social media entire waga dokuwe nanga ba Kim Kardashian. Fair enough, there might be women who do that, but however, I find it wali ya a lot of men spend a lot of time ku social media, but Na bakazi, bako za mabere, bali kububina, bako za biwato. Nebera bila nti na bakazi abo. Yes, wenzo kwa wabikoze, but some of the um, husbands, wabateka musente, bage na mujimu. Baba yamba kubana. As we know, tebaza alabana banji. I think last time we had this issue to abasaji abadu gavu, muagala nyabana. Yes, muwazala, nene mbali kira abakazi. Na ala funanti wabudu wabwe kora ko, nene nyiri la ntimkulabi kire burunji, ngabrika sena mbela mbana, nene mbela mkulongosa, nene mbela mkufumba, nene mkula chi. Another point is, baga meta wakazi tucha ina patience. Abakazi, abakazi ba ina so much patience. Oza angwa msaji omu kuru, na ava mutuwe chanaleka yu mikururo. You know, and you're thinking, are you serious? No, I'm trying to go to Mukube Mumi. Nenga to Sora Mukuba Chikon, at the end of the day, he's your husband. So, what, Mugama, you, it's like you're growing up a big child in your household. Nenga to Gama, we don't have patience. What I'm trying to get Nagam Chala, Abasa, between us so much patience. I'm Sajam Kazakumia, Nechibera, one year, two years, three years, and he comes out thinking that it's okay. So, if you, as a man, you cannot stand up. No government, you know what? Let me take on the responsibility. In Kolegun, no chara mu yambe, Kuanga na yem tungo moon to a cola katuafuna karogo ye. Abasaja abaganda basinga mani was omu kazu bawe when ye za um oba chizibu oba something. A woman in Gamusam is your companion. I'm sure Sam Sam to get up for a set to reach about Oza Kunsonga. And last point, please, so that two words keep wrong. I can see we have 10 minutes now to the end of this. Yeah. So the last point, Gera or Lugero Lugaman, Yakachka, Mamera, Okagora. Okagora, come and you can think along those sides. So I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, but in Chia, we started seeing Abasaja from the age of fifty. That's they have their ways. Chiba chizibu nyoka kubachiusa. So no muga manti mtu fufu fufu na kola. Kwa yema mama ya muga mama Abasaja tabera mufumbiro. Na mama yonyo Abasaja tabera mufumbiro. But yet again, he has so many demands. Whereas I think nowadays Abantu Abasaja vali thirty maybe thirty five and below. They are trying their level best. Okubanga bachiusa. Kwa labi nso ngao labi tuwe vijira. So I give credit to those ones. But however. I think generally Ugandan men, me personally, not the other Ugandan men, because I love my language. There's yes. nothing better than speaking my language. You can only talk about it together, but they need to want to be dako, but it is them as well. Thank you very, very much. The captain is the only one that plays for those coming in. I'll come to Umar Nyanzi, uh, then Taratib Muhammad, who is a first timer on the show. Uh, thank you very much. I'm sure actually you are all the way in Qatar listening to the global community conversation. As a first time, it will be nice to have you. And then we'll have our experts, Sheikh Kamlegi, our elders in this particular field, and Hadid Farida to wrap it up for us. Umar Nyanzi, you have the mic. Oh, and then Abu Fahima, it will be Umar Nyanzi, uh, Tartib, and then Abu Fahima, and then we'll wrap up, unless there is another hand that is burning. Oh, Bekachi is up as well. Uh, Umar Nyanzi, please keep it short and sweet so that we can uh, have more people. I will do assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I've been burning because I can just... <laughs> this is very, very interesting, alhamdulillah. Okay. The point about Ugandan men, I'll be brief as I've been asked. Mm -hmm. Not all Ugandan men are lazy, as some women say. Not all Ugandan men are stingy, as some women say. Alhamdulillah, there is a few of us, a, a few of them, uh, that have been doing something mm -hmm. um, to help the situation. We all know that when we come to Bulaya, when we come to England, when we come, when we go to America and everywhere, things are different. The respect that we get when we are back home, you go to town, you bring some food back home. We had a saying, you had to bring something. At times, here, uh, at times here in England, you mm -hmm. might have to bring that kavira on the card. Which gives a difference. You've come with something. I always try to bring something. 
it is we take away into it. Some men are not doing that. Unfortunately, they are not adjusting to the society we are living in. The mm. society requires us to really work hard. Or you are not But even the society, I mean, Umar, even with the society, catch me in Uganda, we said there are very we said there are very few. I just feel that we are the You have this really coming on. You are just but you could have actually named your girl. You want to name that you are very few. But you could have you are very few. You are very few. You are very few. You are very few. You know, some are failing. I, I think I agree with that. On yeah, yes, coming in with with that cavera makes a difference. It does make a difference. And I have to say, but I take my inspiration from my brother. He's been there. He's been there for his family. Alhamdulillah. I have seen kids how the interaction with the kids. Someone mentioned to put kids to bed, to like to bathe the kids or to be involved. Even the wife. Alhamdulillah. We try our best. Nay, we are fighting against some forces. But <laughs> now, when they splash the money, never the splashing of money again. I want to feed him now about these videos of Nigerians. Yeah, I'm not going to come on a cent. No, I'm going to go. Things start to change, and for that, we are fighting against those forces. And sometimes we just can't meet those demands. Now, for those who are trying, Alhamdulillah, there are some really, really grateful women mm -hmm. here in the UK. That they are grateful of their husband and what they do. Yes, yes. I was as as I as I finish, but yes. again, Alhamdulillah, there are some things here mm -hmm. that we've adopted. We know that those are our jobs. I mean, Ustaz um, Zaid also mentioned in the chat room, we are called bin men. Since the kids are much older, we need to be much more. Okubantu, kumla wa we runga gena no very well plastic just to put them out. That is my job, and Alhamdulillah, I live in a, in in a, in a flat, so we have stairs to go all the way down uh, for the laundry services and uh, and things like that. I Expecting do my the wife my... now to go and carry the, 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 the bin to take it Absolute. down, I think would be very unfair. No, I so, don't doubt, I don't doubt your abilities, and I can attest to that as well. I'm sure even Umar, that so... would come and confirm. Right, thank okay. you very much, Umar, for that. Uh, let's go to the first time and then I'll come to Abu Fahima as we wrap up, inshallah. Uh Tartib Muhammad, all the way from Qatar. Welcome to the program. Something is burning inside you as well, Tartib. Hello, Tartib. Can you unmute yourself, please? Yes. Salam. 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 Barakatuh. Barakatuh. Do you have your video on? Are you happy to have the video on or you're not comfortable? Ah, the video is again. I'm going to go. Yes. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This is my first time since I've been here. I've been here. I've been here. I've been um, the Jagala Kwanukula sister for your Sembio Kogira, you uh, get the Zingamba Muno, uh, Abada Gazako to Siga, Kagunda, Catalio, Akazigo, uh, Avasajava, Uganda, Sigamba Muno, but it will not go over. Uh, for me, I think it's not all about to move to in a work, Kakubera, and a work over. She Banji, but you get the Kombuno, uh. We are taken up by culture. I want to what I'm with the Nadala in the event via Java Zungo. Ne, maybe no valley tambo equal rights or Munkano Kana Bakasbagala Babinga Vinkana Nava said Janatinga Mugsidam Tichirio. So most of women are fighting for that. Bagala Vere could never hear more Nava said Java said Java Sobok Banga Umkwano go to Gurina. Nayaba Kazi um uh no kwagaru kore nyo and those our disrespect gundi obuta obuta respecting abasadja we chichira lokuba a kola kasiente ke katina ye ye feeding amuno omuno ono mugamba chi. Mm. Awete gira katina basadja na febi bitumala mu moral. Um kazu wabanga ina senteze, atandi ko kwe matira matira. Zomu one day gara wata chazi la one one way abu ye bisa tumburu fanyi wanu waka mlaba pound bisa to wata zuri dam. Hey, our bag and a cook of Ragan, a cooler. Okay, okay, yes, Cathy, your mm -hmm. volleyball basaja. Then we hope for another option. If Bagamamuno, but it to Navana Kumumatiza, Nutula, Kakanangum Sajata, our season, number B, simply mm -hmm. because respect and no better. Mm -hmm. 
And this is one thing that every man, I think, should know that women are very deceptive. And I'm sorry, this is not a generalization. They are very deceptive. Some of the things are hidden, not as well as and this is with sincere apologies to the women. I'm not I'm not accusing you, but there's there's just that thing that any man who is going no gun to an secondary, sometimes we get a very good in a car, so put your point at one of Jagaba is sincere. Or yeah, no one wanna we are gonna jack of coming up for now go for a these things get to your heart as a person environment so Ratibu, thank you very much. I'm just leaving you several words. So Nanti, I have other hands. Um, but, but, but then I can take a Please do. Eh, uh, just nga ni mtegeza ba nina fao. Mm. But again, mbo abasajia tuwe chini kia tusingo kwa gara ye kea. Gwe kasaba tuwa kea baba batu maze. Na ye batu kane babi yeda vida. Kwa ye walaba asabe yoka mbu vidi nga vera vida. Yes. Chovola ba. Awe mbeda wana ye jane chukukukula wanga. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. That is uh, Hashim says Shekaira, that is two way traffic. Mazia Gamit Astafirullah, the guy, Mrs. B. Astafirullah, 300 pounds, holy year. Men are most deceiving, says Aisha. Almost a man comes back to say marrying the second wife is not always the solution. Men need to make ongoing reflections through communicating with his wife to make things better. I think sometimes one woman to have pushed with saying, yes, I'm on but yes, true, there are those who rush to make that decision. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to see, I'm just bringing it Abu Fahim, your hand has been up for a very long time. I'll come to you then, go to Sheikh Amrigi and, uh, and Hajat Farida, but then everybody who has their hand up will be. Uh, to push is another 10 minutes, which will be taboo because we would actually be extending the program way beyond where we are supposed to be. In Sama Anaba Zina, please just keep it short. Abu Fahim, you have the mic. Uh, thank you for this program. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when we get married, what we need to be about from our partners. Okay. When we get married, what we need to be about from our partners. And something happens that we marry or what we get married and thinking we are, we are getting married to angels, not knowing that we are getting married to fellow human, human beings. beings. Yes. You expect me to give you 100%, yet I have 50. I expect you to give me 100%, yet you have 35. Mm -hmm. So, you know, problem, to relating to our day-to-day, what, ongoing ups and downs. Then I want to tell the women that Omsaja Veda baby or Nakurum was a packer, but this big baby who needs respect, Namuganda of Wagambi, and this respect doesn't vary whether or Uganda or all UK or all in America. I have to say this. I'll give you an example, and I think, uh, Kaira, you can take. Assume you are representing a female now. Take an example. Uh, you're the wife, I'm the husband. When we have visitors, you kneel again, you kneel down and everybody says, oh, mashallah. When we are the two of us, I don't see it. Or take a look So some of the things the women do, so the men begin to think that, oh, this kneeling is for those people, it's not mine. I don't know whether I get this. 
Then, well, then baby, he, baby, baby issue your FOSA issue in the chat room. Big baby, mashallah. It says Naima Kaira. I think she agrees. I'm a big baby. Naye Aisha yeah. saying, Whoa, baby. <laughs> Another Aisha who says, If you want to be a baby, you shouldn't get married, stay with your mother. And so flower says, babies. Baby, my foot. Those will have you have a civil age again. Yeah, when I say baby, literally, I mean. The care you give your kids yes. has to come to your husband. Yes. Uh, then language, language, the language we use as married people also changes the men so much because Mr. Kaira, you will agree with me. Uh, we are wired differently. The men are wired differently from the women. When you look at us, we are far like the way we think is not the way women think. The thinking of the women differs very much from the thinking of the men. A man might be thinking about one particular aspect at a particular time, but a woman thinks about like seven, time, seven things at the same time. Like he's thinking about Katogo, he's thinking about the school fees, the shoes that were not clean, the door that was not closed. Men are not like that. Men mm -hmm. take one thing at a time. If it is about uh, maybe talking about maybe issues at home, men always have to approach that particular aspect. And if it is done, it is done. They push that aside, then bring in something else. It is different with the women. They are talking to you about the door you didn't close. They are talking to you about the bed that is lying <laughs> unlaid. They are talking about the school fees. They like. They, they multitask. Are wired, like, they multitask, and that, like that, 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 that is that is from God to them. That's from God to yeah, them. It's like a maze. So yes. this maze cannot bring what they want from us. Yes, I believe Ugandan men are so loving. Though people have been saying wrapping are, up Abu Fahima, we already passed ten, and we are actually rolling in. Oh, it's mine. He's taking. Then when it past, comes, he's giving me the what, eye. One last bit. One yes. last bit. Okay. When it comes to the conjugal rights. If the female, if the female deny their male partners this conjugal right, mm. we are bound to have many, many, many. Yeah, yeah. We are bound to have many quarrels, many fights, and this is what always the men will connect to in doing almost everything. You deny them that, you are gone. Your baby is gone. Right. It's gone forever. Thank you so much. Barakallahu feekum. This is 75 W Radio live and if the program is come, let's talk with me, Kasim Kaira, streaming live as well on Zoom and YouTube uh, via Uma Connected. Ah, uh, from the message we start the idea says abachara wa febalinga aseno febo wangizi wa aseno tuwa manjira ne tufuka immune to all the pain and losses kati mweje muko moktuko oktuvuma ye tukoma okukoma okuguba ha, tuwe yongero okugube mutima Ibrahim says why do people change the way they come across well, zamza mwaga is saying in that case babies need to give the utter respect and care to the mothers <laughs> and of course a big baby um, Aisha says, self-love, I was thinking the same thing. Well, Maz says you could marry another wife, not knowing the problems in your current marriage are started by you simply because a woman should put in the effort to make the marriage work. You think it's her. No one disrespects our another out of the blue unless they don't love or value you. Uh, the reason that I gave you is the very reason I'm keeping you there. The Farida and it is really important that we get it off people's chests. Anybody who comes on, at least keep it strictly to 30 seconds to make your point. Fatuma Mugwanya, you have the mic, please. 30 seconds, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, <laughs> 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 Nenda kuogera mu mirundi ebiri. Yes sir. Waluo omuchale cheyogedde nagamba anti 
above 50s ne below 50s mm. akati obufumbo twa tubutwalire ku nsonge egama nti echoto tchikutanku mhm ofumba echano ko maono ofumba mm. tuli no ofumba kisinzi akubyo ofumbe bide no no zikizo omulimu era kweru buto kubango muganda gero gero na ganda olubuto choto olusenyera ya kuwa yes kakati echidala bwetu osaba chala olusi tuina ko tupimira manyi ga muchala na muami nti obaga balancinga mm. oba waluo ali overpowered to another chiba chizibo okubera nti just mugeza ako bugeza okulaba nti mu balancinga mutambulie mu mbere mu mm. kati abachala owenna kuzino lwalero zino nyina abana abafumbidwa abachala abedda tuba comparing na abachala bo lwalero abachala abedda Babe ranga no mulimo gwa kubera waka kulabirira family no musajja nga ino mulimo gwe genda kuyigira family na yo lwalero omwami no muchala mwe namu furuma chechimu ne mugenda muyiga chechimu ne mukoma wo chechimu kati kumwembi kubaka akoye kubaka atakoye oba mwe nanga mukoye kati kibera kizibu nyo okubalansinga embera yobufumu mu mbere iyo mm-hmm. kitegereke kabanaye naam hallo kitegereke sibu ya tutu ya kugachiwe mm-hmm. na kizibo okubalansinga ku muntu agenze nako na ddanga mm-hmm. akoyi nawe no ddanga okoyi ne mukoma we waka kati mu mbera bamugenda mu mbera yobufumbo wabera wo okubera anti simwizo obutabera nga mutambulia kugundi ku pesa emu mm. kati echo nacho abantu bate ko chimanya mm. ku mbera yo kulabirira abana mm. ewaka mm. environment je tuyingidde mu e demandinga okubera nti omwami oyamba ku muchala wo na dala mu mbera je tuli mwene ebulaya oyagala toyagala kubanga abo omulekere emirimo jonna na agena nako na akoma unalabili ya habana, obomu liyaza ama anjiza. Na awo ino kubango uzanya pati yo, kufamire ya mwe. Mwami suga, kusabo kusa, uumbe uumbe kubanga na gabi ya 30 seconds, uwe nso yeah. kati mikono jisiga deyunga, yetu ino kuninyula. Ya. Yeah. 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 Kati, kati chenga ama anti ya chifuleme chivalida kubela anti fwenda tuja chitamuliza kupesu emu. Yes. Uweli, uwe miisti, no uwe sti, fwenda tuamulia kupeji emu, peji sija kwa ukana. Hmm. Na bana ni banja uru ne ne tulina za anja uru walwa inda kachi walwa inda siriki ogamba bibitu te tujja kwambala uru itajja kukaza tujja kwambala uru zikale baraka Allah fikum sebune ya sebune baraka Allah fikum baraka Allah wale nyo ekiro ekiro ndi sebu assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tuwe ya nzenyo mchala fuatuma. Yes. Um, uh, Ngeende ku um, Amina, Amina Amba, nzije wa Talha, then Beka, then tuunzike ne wakade wakade wafi. Mwende ndaba kugenze genze, sawa za isi munda mwana isi masimu kusawa mpeto ndede, nye nika kasa nao mchala alaba jodi, nota ija kuyomba, nyo zenso nga zetu lipo tulongo samaka. Baraka Allah ufikum. Uh, uh, Amina, Amina Amba, please if you can unmute yourself. Keep it sweet and short, please. 30 seconds. Amina Amina Yes Amina I can see you on oh then you muted yourself if you can unmute yourself please brilliant okay go ahead 30 seconds please Hello Amina Amina Amba You already unmuted ka tugende wa talhanga Amina we yeteleza Uh, Talha, unmute yourself, please, and then I come to Beka Chiyi. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Encourage my mm-hmm. 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Na tu muzika. Mm-hmm. Point yangu yokele kubaka zii. Awa complain yako mani ngaba sadja. Yet they can't. Uh, they can't have. Hello? No, since I'm talking about video. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, wa complain yako mani ngaba sadja. 
that they can uh to us all like who so like we're now uh different occasions so you also come a chair got the name lunch time over evening or what night one in dark but she's like in koye then guayna manya manji i talk to court here what's going to say i'm enough so i'm got to cover all whereby she will get that resting time i got a vena yeka and then all the way to go to the government is not going to be a good thing. Now, I'm going to go to the government and I'm going to go to So as the government is not going to be without sex, now the government is not going to be a good thing. I'm sure that is a topic for actually another day, probably. And then we have to go to the government and we have to go to the government. Maybe we have to go to the government and talk about it, actually. And we have to go to the government. That might actually, you know, lead to another debate. Yeah, Amina Amba, are you are you are you available now? Barakallahu fikum, Sheikh Talha. Amina Amba, are you there? Okay, Becca, she just said, "Jangu, thirty seconds." Becca, she, you have the mic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, Sheikh um, she, she, Hassan, Isma, and I get a mula get it. Don't get a yes, our number one. Hahaha, that's about it. It's more into getting to go over again. Bambo me it's garbage food. Say vocabulary which I don't know. Conjugal, but you lose a lose a conjugal rights. Ah, Becca, thirty seconds, please. Let's let's keep it short. This country that we're in favors women and hard on men. And it's just women favoring any other child. So when a woman finds herself earning more than you, she thinks she is better than you. You know, so in most cases, you'd find that she does not respect you in terms of she, sometimes she might not even do it intentionally, but because naturally there's that thing in women, she might end up disrespecting. And once a man finds himself disrespected, so many times he's not gonna. Center, uh, center, so um, mm. this, and I think our ladies have this thing of urban excitement, amalo. You know, so they find themselves comparing us to other men from other countries, you know. But you haven't spoken to the ladies from those countries, what they say about those men as well. Because some of the issues that have been raised, there are there are main issues, you know. Being to be have a sadja, so we have a sadja. So the issue is, some of the issues are raising, so long as they have a sadja, since it's a bagundi, since it's a now Uganda, because it's not only for Uganda men, but sadja, but now when I have West African friends that call me, but I don't know if I'm not in Uganda, do you have a Ugandan woman? Or do you have a Ugandan woman? Or do you have a 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 woman? We have many things to change. We have many Uganda. We have many people. Oh, it's taken. So, for a subject to be a malaika, a child, you need to understand that if your man has faults, seek counselling and sit down with him and talk about it. Uganda have the habit of underlooking Ugandan made products. You know, it's the same thing here. And if anything is made in Uganda, there's there's no quality. So this is a personal thing. You know. So let's have some respect. If your man isn't doing what he should be doing, check yourself as a lady. Love yourself and be proud of where you come from. So probably the failure of Ugandan men might even actually be down to the to the to the failing by Ugandan women who have Definitely. not managed to make them Definitely. who they should be. Shekhaina njagara kumariza na kano. There is a saying that says behind every successful man there is a woman. Now, how are we going to be successful as Ugandan men when our women speak like this about us? Barakallahu fikum. That is food for thought. Nkaka sa echo mje echo loza kwa bachara. Maria Munabi Koro here in the chat room says, doza ishi ya talha jia wada gambo kusaba yedi sanja nga yaga kusaba chisanda kumacha tuhuli neka ungezi. Maria is saying, sima nyoyo muwade three times a day nga anibu kurusa nyocho. Doesn't the man work? Let's go to the hands now. Jaya kule taba kande wafu. Iyi ya rabbila. Mikono gaji yu gina kuja. Amina amba ndoza yale me duwa kumancha jaka uthal and then I'll come to Bakande Mafe. I just fell in the neshe kamulege ya gumikiriza enyo, kweto ondela enyo. Na ya mshua wanutuliku information gathering and it actually helps to build up the bigger picture. Kauthar, you are there at the beginning. It looks like something is burning inside you that is brought you back. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, I just really want to respond to what Baker said because it kind of like irked me in a way. Um, he was talking about the fact that as Ugandan women, we need to support our Ugandan men. Yes. But the thing is, we do that on a day-to-day -day basis, but sometimes I feel like maybe the men are unappreciative of what they have in front of them mm -hmm. because they know that 
because obviously I've got different friends all around. I've got white friends, I've got Nigerian friends, I've got Ghanaian friends. And every single person that I speak to, everybody says Ugandan women are like the best women to marry because they look after you, they cater to you, they please you in every single way. Like if you go to a Nigerian woman, she's aggressive, she's this, she's that. But Ugandan women are like, yeah, what can I do for you? What can I do this? Da, da, da. So for, for re- like responding back to what Baker said, I feel like that's untrue. Um, so Kautha, let, let me just put this to you then. Is it possible? Because if, 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 you, if you think you have done a lot of good for someone, should it be you to judge that good that you've done? Or should it be to the person to sort of say the good has been done to them? Because well, the reason I'm asking this is this. You think that Ugandan women try to support their men in ways that probably they don't feel appreciated. Would it help maybe to try to understand if the men feel that they have actually been supported? Because it might be that you think you are supporting, but they don't feel the support. I'm putting it to you. Okay, so you just asked a great question about how do a guy, how do you know if a guy is being supported? If I'm answering you questions and you're responding back and giving me a response, that means I've done my job as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, as every all of the above, right? If I'm doing something which is incorrect, this is me personally, I would rather you say something and be like, you need to change this, not change, but okay, today you've done X, Y, and Z. Could you please change it in a way? Because obviously that affects me in some sort of way. I don't like the way you speak to me. It's very aggressive. I don't like the way your turn you came. I've just come back from work. You're just coming at me. If, if you have that kind of dialogue with your significant other, it makes things so much more easier. But as I said, I don't only just put it on one person, but I tend to see it's a, rep- a repetitive pa- pattern in Ugandan men. Not like, because oh, obviously my aunt was speaking, Aunt Aspa, and she was talking about, let's stop bashing Ugandan men, which is true. Let's stop bashing them because there are some men out there um, who are amazing, like who are, who cater to their women and, and all of the above. But there's also, I'm talking about the guys today, they have so much expectations of a woman that needs to be met. But what have you done for me exactly? Or what have you done for all the, like, I can't speak for anybody else, but like people I speak, people I speak to, like either like my sisters, my friends, they complain about the same thing, about the fact that they lack, like Uganda men lack certain things. And okay, Baker touched upon it, but, behind every successful woman there's a man pushing them saying to them baby you can do this like what can we do to uplift you how can we do to to be excess um to make your business successful what kind of plan should we sit down and do this the uganda men don't no, so, okay not all uganda men but for for my for like experiences that i've um, had with other people and people talking to me that's not really prominent in men like Ugandan men like who have been married to like friends and family it's always a woman have to have to do like 10 jobs just to make sure that everything's okay or they have to make sure that you come back from work and then the kids are fed the kids school work is done and everything like that and it's just like they've got so much on their back but a man just doesn't understand how much they've got but once again it's like how can we fulfill their needs and it's just so sad to kind of like continuously keep bringing this topic up but once again if we can men can actually sit down and listen to the needs of a woman like what we're going through it will be yeah. great because once again as Antaspa said there's very there's, there's guys out there who are willing to be like more than enough for their women do you understand thank you very much Kauthar. and I think Joy says Ugandan men are the best they just need to up their game I think that seems to agree with Kauthar. Uh, yes. Hand says people know their limits people know themselves and Galaxy says Ugandan men offside. we are the softest to start says and number two says lack of communication from the men in general and Tara says if you can't manage to be patient of me having a second wife then be patient about satisfying me whenever I I get desires. To gain them where we come to. Shake out again. Thank you very much. What the patient Ultimately, I think Kalsa was a good person to end up on given the, the kind of issues that uh, she does raise, which is uh, the reason we have these conversations that I think as a community, the fact that we have started having these conversations means, one, we have acknowledged that there is a problem, and two, we are intentional and intended 
uh, and deliberate to try to make amends in this particular situation. So let's not come here to sort of just bash from then you're not trying to make amends. The reason we have these conversations, and that's why I said, on come, let's talk with makers in Kaira here. There's no conversation that is out of bounds, but the only difference is we do it with decency. We don't come and sort of be abusive or you know speak obscenely. The reason we are looking for is to try to better situations. And I think that makes a whole big difference. Sheka Mregia with the Songa is Munzikibua, when Zimbe will get Bua, but then Sabam Kurabo Kuko, when we feel it to Mazoku Mania, maybe Kati to gain the term mass. That should be the help, the way to help. Sheka Mregia, so if you can unmute yourself. Sheka Mregia. Now, I'm sure you guess it. So, that was the only day to Zidabia, maybe you'll get to you, Nasso Akazinda Kali to Tragarakuns, Katuns, Kirava, to the Trinidad Chicam Kagas, the Trinok to Zamu, quite had it for the to see Rava. Alhamdulillah. Oh, Sheikh Amlegia, those accidentally muting the Sebo, the Mue and muting you, please. Smantiva, the Oshikam Amlegia, and mute, please. Okay, brilliant. Now, so. Thank you, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Eh, nayanzi zana ngu kumpa kaksaka, no? Maybe, ugo kubela nti, kuo gira kusonga, ezu kuatako, community ya fe, nga, bana Uganda, na balala, bonna abatwega tako kubanga uli wa kwega tako kiba kitegeza ati either anyumirwa byemwogera oba afuna mwe cyo kuyiga ayinzo kunyumirwa kunyumirwa gamanti nyura banna yuganda nyakubogera then waba uli aganta banna yuganda bwe bogera bako cyenjiga ningenda nacho kati muri mu buri kona lyo na alhamdulillah rabbil alamin twa baza allah oya tuwo bulam era atwadda kasera kanu kuri mu kakati okuberanti tukubaganya birowozo ku nsonga ezikwatako nsonga ya wasajja zemukurabo kwange we tujiza yo ku mirembe yili yetwa kulira jaffe en tuka tuka nene ezeo kubaka ngamenti Abasajja echukuru enyo, enyo, enyo chensingo kula bambu mo situation hiyo na yonaje yon tulimu. Ovude kubia diasporant tulimu monsi zaba, zaba wira na yenga nchogi la katinga nganza atambula nengenda kecha ndono ni mbela yebanda. Nti abasajja okubole wakiliza wakazi wakukola bata uvuna njizu. Wabato wufuna anyeziwa na wachala ni wabali nyaku mkwe. That is number one. Two, wabachala wababa kili sokora ni wabalo uoza anti gulichimucho na chiweje. Aina kuwe ilanga alinya msajja kumotwe. Three, wabachala wabata ni kukora wabasajja ni wabasuro wufuna anyeziwa wabwe. Omchala na hata ni kukwe romwana mchala na kulilo mwana uniform, mchala na kulilo mwana ebitabo, abasajja nebe sulila yu wana gamba, kati nebata niko kubai o kubako zesa nga tools. Nti, omchala uro kubai ya gulia sukari, ya gulio mwenyo, chitegeza gulino kumekina shuati, you do everything in the house. Kubanga, masuro vuna nizivu wabu, Fuse mchala wawaka. Kwa ino koleri. Murudoga no bikora. Badja kula vango msajja. Muna yugando mwuri. Buwachi. Kufuna njizu wabu wawusura. Nosala uove renti. Mchala ya kolerera. Mwurukirizo mchalo kukolerera. Chitegeza nti. Mwanada. Ajakubaa koye. 
wali ku TV yo yagu yagulira kubanga umuntu ukira ko echo omchala kitegeza ne TV mundu ya kikolaji ati okube okusanga ngo oli ku remote nga abana tebana abye it is another bad gondi she obanyi tuli mugeza ku munzi kana mbale ndaka bozo kende ku kuza ku echo kubanga the problem is tusomesa abana ba we have given birth to children yeah, boys and Girls, who see the common oxo and woman of water again, that's me. With the express intention to another man is oxo and Jacob Jacore, as well, no Piamma family. Boganja was said the vassal of nine's boy, like a summer kids of a child of Cora. Doesn't that present a picture to tell that again, that's so much local or no cover by a summer? Kuba Quina Mugaso Chila that's over the Cora. Which went to Cora from Gens of Fuka and Soga Kumuja, Kuja of Nines on both sides. Antica Kati, that the barrels get no Yaka Kati, share Cassim. To deposit here. The government has to balance the budget. doctor, he was a journalist. The chief executive of the government has to be in the Okorobat It has to take everything you have to do for herself. Yeah. The chief executive has to be in the Okorobat Mudwari. It has to take everything you have Watu wa somchalo woku vili, watu wakura goti, watu wakura goti. Senga kasi mkayira, ono sigaranga, mchalo mkibizo kora, yes, then okore, but this is the, this the way you have to work. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ogendo kora, buhuli rango ya garo kora, you have to go with my rules. Gendo kore, but certain time, sawa wizi ti oteko kuwango kosechi. that was the end of the story. Etanga tajia genda kubango muami agenda kusiva waka agenda kora aino kusigara waka arabidiyo muami uwe. Mm. Na hivu abafawe na kuzino katibuwa mukirizo kora buoba au gate ya kuwa commanding body eh? omuga mbobu gami nchi mnangi hao wale no ngenda kubeda kofu mbade nsa buoba kubile sinto ya kusogula kora hivu gambe vila uvizo kubilechi na fumbi wa msajja msajja ino funanzo ekiri singo kuleto kuzibu bonna fefe nyine abasajja twasule ekitibwa kya fe ne tule ne tujja ovunanzo wa bofe yes mabade kusaba munzike tule tajja tufaida ndabo akadde kaise mu kusawa zizizuzawa sana kaira senga obera nti muchalo wa akora na yenga munna tamu zemwa kiliskanya ko bwaba ku respectinga to yinza kumuga amba guloli mnonga ato maniti. Nita sigeenda kora. Wagula mbade njagalo kubira ago kumrimu. Tugeenda kusigo manofe na upayimu. Nina vya njagala tukole. Mm. Nga awaka. Mbwabanda 
a uh, respecting and the kakuagaro wokuba chigende wachiricho kacha bufu moti mujakubera buyoma jako yagani mune that end of this five minutes that the end of the story. Mm. Ajaku kiriza, era bwaba kuagaranga, a ku respecting nanga mwamiwe, a jaku biaba kama baba gambe, please funye wobuzibu, family matters, si jaku sobola kolachi, jaku sobola kujia for two days over for today. And just see Jacoda ABC. Now you walk over and take into your not to be take private Yafuka at Fisho Jetuli. Obufumba for well these days it will be Mokuano. No respecting our money as a um, I get book in a way you get there. No what? No respect to twin a chip. Era bwe tunabate tusaze magezi abasajja kubera anti no tudda yoku vunanyizibwa bwaffe tuve mbi okwozo omuchala ya sasule nyumba omuchala ya kola bwati atobo omuchala ali akamanya atobo omuchala ba musasule nyumba what's wrong with us are we wasting our time that's a very good question that's a very very good point yokusara kubanga what is wrong with us it is a question that yo mu chat room was there some suggestions nti abasajja tusanye tuberiyo ne topic je tujjo kujjo ku discussing afe cafe kana tulwasajja nga bachara tebajja kukirizibwa mu ko i think it would be a good point for us to have a conversation kubanga there was a, there are some issues honestly ezili kwa mazima the times are quite size up but the tusange to ogere ku nga abasajja kubanga the problem is quite often abasajja tuwe tugayane tuwe matira gatal habwa abaderinga akanti ya manyi wali akongoja ukongo za hizo hizo kwa sevi and so wrong that Ruksa, okubera nti bagende ebweru bakolenga tumazo kubawasa eh mm. ojja kula banga buli chimu chiri chitambula bulunje rojja kula banga buli chimu chikolachi oli nze nina wana abasajja bemanyi kuburaya nina abasajja bemanyi kuburaya abayimirira ku maguru gawe ne bagama no buli chimu nja chikola please na kuwasanga oli mchara wange mchara wange sagaro obere mu kujaja mira mu chibuga stay here nina uno omwe na kwezo kwezo gwe bangamba ye riya kwaira kwa ito discussing ngaku ya basajja ngeje to isamnachi nangati ya muno basajja ababi ya wa as yagamba mchara wenti okumanya nti njagala obere waka manyi tempu na sichi nene nyu na yebu li mwezi i'll pay you 600 pound for your service ah oyo musajja na busajja I'm sure it has been a very, very interesting conversation. issues are pertinent issues that we are definitely, I think, to Because I think definitely there is something wrong. Please <laughs> We can't keep complaining. We have to find solutions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. We can't keep complaining. We have to find solutions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. We can't keep complaining. We have to find solutions. Assalamu now, we have to 
ndi musomesa ndi muzade ndi jjaja ngata byonna always the emisomo gemba mu njagala nya kagambo tukoze tutia how are we going to get the solution tumalirizo musomo ne echi che tujje mu che tukendo kusibira kempa ekisoka njagala ngenda genda nonda mu points waliwo mwana yate siza na gama ti akacha mama mera akacha mama mera ko kaliwa fe Uganda wana eranda nteka ko la switch hat wana tuwajjo omuntu tamanyu kuba mo omuntu yajja tamanyu kuvuga wirubalo omuntu yajja tamanyu anything kitegeza achi buli wola go ino kuiga ngo kusirangwe tukwe mtu dagira tu ino kuiga paka le tripa omwami wo bwa bata chimanyi ngo mazene ni yake 5 o 10 no chiga chimuyigirize kubanga tujja kugenda wali akacha mama mera fe wafa bana abalenzi bonna baba baba bawasa kino nachi is even in the more experience in pia mwana nganti anti bangamba tino omwami omulenzi tayingira mu chiyungu come on ekati ebyo byali byadda abami tubayigirize ekipya kyo nachi tuize nsima nyo 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 abami abagezeza ko kuchusa sibuli kaseira ntiwe tusomesa okuva omwaka mulamba tubadde kuzumu tusoma bufumbo abami bachu sabatia there are some who has changed konate bachi alibumu yerecho nchisima baba chikoze abami abagamba ntino obusobozi kale katugene ku busobozi obwo bufumbo mu muzanyo abami abavubu kabe na kuzino i just funny the uh, camera camera itangu uh, okay no come here e bizibu biri mu bibiri ekisoka muri mu buzibu obwe mereje muri ya amanyi ne gakendera imirimo je mukola weather je muri mu ebyo namu bifeko mukoze mutya mugeze ko kudda mukweka ti mune ku mulondo mufune ku mwanyi mu building up mubirenga mu eliza zamu kubanga ebyo bibakosa Unonzi kwa ifako. Na. Wanga yu chemi zango jitja. Nituji wazo ina gaba na. Nga na yola ba yehi njini bambi ya chetilo. Na wanko zentia. Ama njiga kendede. Na ye mili mo. Okusitu levi zito. E, Misuwa jina fuku. Na ye mgeze kwa 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 kuchukua tagana ni ama wanga malala. Tukirize, jotari, jotende dembe. Fuetube lewa finger tu jiranda ni, tuba tuloza, nti tugenda kuingida mujane yokonsi. Nyebu obo tu usewan, nebi zimbe bizimbe nga wakatani kubira bogambo, vandi didawa, obizimbo lava obutaka ebuelu tuwali na kala. Chola ba, kubakati ya bawala baloza, nti erige balagaye watutu. Walo wano, seka kairango chaji, edie jindi, edie edie edie, Kilingam, eh, ebangeli, ejemia kijo, wano tuwa fumbi zaba na bawa la ba Nigeria, ejemia kijali ya bawa la fumbi la ba Nigeria, ne yes tuwa jamu anga na ba wanji? Tuwa zija zema ba tuwa zidi ndalama. Tuwa jamu anga na ba mo ba mani bulungi ba ina kwa relative. Abawa la ba mo ne ba gamba ba kuka ba ba kuzisa, ne ba ba tuwa la ne ba ba wasi mbaga ne tuzidia. Niba tu keyo, niba ba jiko sente ngati ba ba gamba kuzire wali da mubanka. Amugulu ya mtu kaya yangu mitano, bwa iteme ya kebi na amgama. Tine kizimu ni ulai wali omtuwa. Gwenola waza nchi jaziza kwa ya kuwa dema tu kaya yangu mitano. Soya zanya kaza nyo. Kati abwa gama nchi ya mawanga gali ya malamalungi. Je mutali, je mutende dembe. Na yena vye video, temubi manyi. Tukoze tutia. Kukuberanga tuteleza. Tukoze tio kuteleze mitie mito. Mwaba ina vana abato wata naba kufumbirwa. E chintu chukuoza wa na Uganda wa anta mama. Mama, bade mba sabato chigewu. Tudewe, tutekewe chigamba, tutereze za tutiaba saja wa faba na Uganda. I think echo chigia tuko lila. Awami ya wana Uganda, bali no muze, ogusingo kuruma bachala wana. Fa bachala abali kuno kumutimba gano ugolu alero. Kwetu ganti, abanga abachala, Ava sebe nsonga ajatibu Kenya jayo kira kunga ye singo baluma. Mwanike mikono. Mwenzo ukulaba nga mfunye koba kumia satu kwa ana. Na ava mi nsonga ye singo baluma. Na yunga na joge deko. Mwenzo ukulaba nga mfunye satu kwa ana. E vintubi onabio nebilanga tukitade wabali ni tukitoloza. 
tuisekeo ebintu bibiri kati tuina communication matazi love matazi e, e, kubera nga tuina okukola gana mu sente obwerufu matazi na yebino wa manga abami muyige okolera ko bachala ba mirimo no kubala bidirira ka abana ebyo abachala muyige chabami nebo bakolera chicho na na yesa weri yeyo kugama nti suka tujisule wali tukoleshe bwe mubate mujitunu demu nabo bine bilala bine bye mukola tabagenda bitwala nga nsonga era omusajja yenna nebo abelango omuchala afumba nyo muyenje nyo nenga omwami asula mudiro omuchala asula mchisenge that is not marriage kati ezensonge ebbiri tuzoke tuzikwate ko twinzo okutereza obo okuongerera ddala okumala wo kiba na Uganda bantama nti abami bayina obuvunanyizibwa obuyamba ka bachala babo kole milimo okubairanga batu alaba na masomero kale katugeze ko no kubera finance wise omwami ansinga omchala ansinga ko ne tutese nti mchala onsinga negeza konsa sulire ko biro ya tv na ya tera ne kila labami mufe yo nyo wetuba tusula mu nyumbe za kanso mufe yo nga mwe musasule ya kanso afazali de kayo ku government na gure bisigade naye soko sasule wosula ngo mukyala si ya kusasulira wo echi na chaba mi chibalete de nyaba chalo balengeza nyumba ya kanso pound chikumu abiri buli mwezi gwe soko sasule oli oko mu government munange ku meri nyina ko ruwana omukyala ja kusisanyukira kuba ja kumanya ati gwo sasula wosula era ne gwo musasulira na abana si ya kusasulira Echi jo kutuwe kama wabe chala wa mubi ba ino vyo kula. Angira wa saja. Mm. Manjira mubi saja wakai na kachi. Nze mwesuza. Njuri zengi sasura. Kati mwami geza kwa sasura nyo. Hanja jenda chika tusika ze muma ama wange. E, Elando oza mkutuke. Oiga kutuke. Yes. Actually it's no point. It is a very very good take away. For everybody who has been listening here. Kusaidi ya wa saja. Tujingile mku ya wa chala kumirimu. Saidi ya wachara, na wabe njini wale meku zanyira kunso mjeri. Eh, oh, Uwaza antini na atenze wishi mudi ya kula ba mwemi rundi ya ibili. Na. Ah, ah. Atena wabu mkule deke mirimo. Mm. Ere di tajia kuganti na koye nyo. Mwemi mkwami ya mkoye mwingirechi yungu, mfumbe. Ero mzanyo muna, muna mzanyanga mkoye kwa yene elanga muliva bi. <laughs> this has been a very brilliant program thank you very much here who is saying sheka ira tuchayagara kusula mu mayumba ne dembe that's why to sirise but come men's conference to dia kuogera twe barule joy chakwita says great program it's nice to spend the evening sharing what concerns us well done everyone actually very good note to almost end the program bebaza nyo mwe noku wanti mwe kumi the program let's continue doing this it's a really for the best of our, of our community and I think we should be able to find ourselves in better situations as Okubantino we can try to look for improvements. I, for that, those who came in late, well, there was a message that came in that was a very powerful message. Allow me to read these messages and that will be how we conclude the program. It will be food for thought. It's a message that came from a person whose uh, identity we decided to keep anonymous, but she says, Sheikh, these are my two cents. topic are socialized with inflated sense of self. Our cultures and religions put them on a mantelpiece. They are not taught that with great power comes great responsibility. They don't realize that they have the power to make or break relationships. This is evidenced in the vastly different ways both genders are raised in our society back home, which is different from many other cultures. Nga is our Zoom. Not sure about Asians. Now, yeah, the few I have interacted with, the disparity isn't as skewed. Nga eyewafe. Katia, your inflated sense of self masks a lot of insecurities and low self-esteem. In most cases, challenge or attack on their manhood. So Secondly, I have noticed most of our African, not only Ugandan men, uh, sorry in their vocabulary. 
kino seka de sheikh ya kiogera kwe nini ya kivako ya kiwako ujulizi era that is one of the reasons i turned out or i tuned out his durus ate wechituka kwa sidab subhanallah ne buja wagira anti by the options to look elsewhere so very few attach value to their partners and so when i reflect on the many issues in my own defunct marriage all it would have taken for me oku okukakana was a sorry uh, i'm sorry my actions or words had unintended consequences thirdly lack of empathy very few men have learned this nze i had all three of my sons by c section na yen sawa allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not want that these boys father help out at home what the okunta bridge copy chacha ask any woman who has had a c section how tough it is to even support your body weight katigata ko kuyonsa okufumba and looking after other kids nga only fresh from hospital na kunjerele but somehow god gives you the strength to push through and that told me all i needed to know and finally african society has taught men in the sente zimara wichizibu that it can be used to plug any character flaws atena fe cultures of fe inculcate na asas female erabo yagara okunoba nga nga wafumbirwa mugagga abawo kama kugamba guma kasta agule mmele wakana asasura ne fees za bana never mind your emotional and mental health those are cultures and dala na dala mbazungu za ukana nyomu ndoza in my lay understanding that explains why our zungu largely do what makes them happy although na church ina drawbacks za cho very good point very good uh, point at which to end the conversation thank you very much for sticking around i can see actually up to now we still had 67 people at a point where we went up to 90 people thank you very very much for the global conversation people in uganda who are staying up really nearly three o'clock now and people in uk and the united states uh, and even in the netherlands and all the way in qatar people who have been having as part of this conversation i can only thank you very much and hope that you will be able to join me next week on tuesday on come let's talk with me kasim kaira i just remind you on 75w radio tomorrow of the program uh, bridging the gap emisana oma connected will have sheikh inkata as usual and then on thursday uh, the usual history of education in uganda uh, and then friday we cross over to umc for the Quran and khutbah sessions for the Friday Saturday different program on UMC as well as Sunday when Sheikh Sekad comes to wrap up our week for the week I thank you very much keep it W radio 75 W radio keep it umma connected zoom youtube we are live and you can follow me on my twitter skaira2000 on facebook and instagram same word kaira2000 come let's talk with me kasim kaira on 75 W radio Thank you very much and have a very good night. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.